purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the On Air Now button on the homepage where you'll be able to see all the products that have been in today's show. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi, very good morning to you. Hello, how are you doing? I'm here with the cracking breakfast team. Uh, we've got uh, the lovely Jack, who's been uh, giving us all a, a quick uh, macrame lesson. Uh, I'd like to say I was watching and he was doing it right. And I don't know that because of the DVD, but uh, it's lovely stuff. I think we'll get him on screen later to show everybody. Uh, we've got the lovely Dee Dee, we've got Tom. Claire Bear's doing something. She'll be behind the scenes uh, organising us. And uh, very good morning to you. How are you doing? Now, the lovely Hannah's with me today because she's been working on three gorgeous new kits. We've got a fabulous challenge for her. In fact, it's already over there. I'll be nabbing that later. It's fun-packed and really jam-packed with a gorgeous colour. So if you love, love your colour splashes and bright colours and rainbow colours, then that's definitely the one for you. Remember, it's the challenge bundle and uh, we'll, we'll enjoy what Hannah has to make excuse me, out of that kit later on today. Now, I've got a fantastic early bird special as well. And uh, did you have a nice Friday evening? Tell you what I was doing, I was watching uh, an Elvis impersonator, Roxel Abbey. You never get enough. Uh, Kevin Paul, his name was. Oh, he was so good. I had a front ringside seat, me and my mum and my sister, and uh, our little table at the front, and he was brilliant. Fine fella of a man, gorgeous looking man. All my mum had to say was, did he have nice teeth? This is Mary, I was looking at his teeth. Uh, it was really gorgeous fella he was. And then she went, no, nice bum. <laughs> Mary, your age. Uh, nice to know she's still got it, eh? Uh, very good morning to you. Right, shall we have a look at some of the kits? I digress. Can I get enough of Elvis this weekend? Um, now, this one's called Hollywood Sunset, okay? So we've got the drama. It's almost like your silver screen, black and white, and then the sunset reds there and there's a smashing um una is that the unakite pendant one yeah yeah and my next one my next new kit today tango in the night oh yeah sumptuality that is a beautiful kit in fact i'm wearing one of the beautiful bracelets here if you want to have a quick look sneaky look Actually, this will be one of the techniques that uh, Hannah will be showing us later as well, because she's made this bracelet, I've nicked it this morning, for you to just see how beautiful the jewellery is. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. So that's our second new kit today. The early bird will go beautiful with that. And our final one, it's called Green Goddess. But, you know, the emphasis really isn't on the green for me. Um, there is some beautiful, beautiful mint green fluorite. You know I'm a big fan of that. The absolute fantastic clarity of that quartz and then the shell pearl. It's got a very ethereal light feel to it in terms of the look and in terms of the jewellery that Hannah's made. And uh, she's come up with some great adaptable, multifunctional jewellery for that kit. And it's, it's a very translucent, um, light looking, it's beautiful. Funnily enough, I've got a very special gem strand at 12 o'clock that would look beautiful with that. And it's the quality of this uh, peridot that I'm Fat, oh, I'm just in love with because it's all about the purity of the hue. Have a little look. This is going to be my gems of distinction, my quality strand. You know how much of a heart attack I had with the spinel on Friday, uh, for Thursday with the Elvis show. Well, just look at the hue. Just beautiful. It's really about those greens, those lighter greens. You know, it's not a dominant yellow presence. It's not a dominant dark um, presence. You know, the, the 
Clarity is absolutely world class. You've got dazzling bright greens with an undertone of the gold in that peridot that really brings it to life. So that's our high end strand at 12 o'clock. And oh my word, I had to words with uh, the lovely Dee this morning because uh, she, she has. Well, the ideas about this turquoise, I thought, don't be doing what they did to me on Thursday. Coronary's live on air during an exciting show. Um, this turquoise, you might have missed the two high-end strands that we had on Thursday. This is the most affordable, beautiful natural turquoise we've had. Seriously, you're not going to believe your eyes. I'm going to do that at 11 o'clock this morning or thereabouts. Um, we'll try and stick to those sort of times, so please stay watching. That is natural turquoise. And actually, you know, you've got a, a real mid between the blue and the greens because it's the presence of iron that gives it the greens in your turquoise and it's the presence of copper that gives it your blue in your turquoise. And I think on Thursday we had both varieties. This, I would say, falls between the two. Um, so you've probably got an even presence of the iron and the copper in there. Gorgeous, natural turquoise. Big nuggets as well, that's 130 carats. And uh, it's coming up. Uh, we're going to try for that about 11 o'clock ish. Yeah. So I never quite stick to the time, do I? We try my best. I try my best, but you know what I'm like a rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Um, yeah, just gorgeous. And uh, if you're experiencing problems on the web yesterday, purchasing and the overnight repeats, a huge apologies for that. It should all be fixed now. Yeah, I do apologize for that. Um, it should all be fixed now so that uh, that doesn't happen if you're watching the repeats again. Let's bring you that early bird. Now, you remember the second kit? I don't remember the name is, but you remember. <laughs> What's it? Tango in the night, thank you. Tango in the night. If I think second kit, Sylvester Stallone, and uh, who's that lovely man that was married to um, Goldie Hawn? Kirk. Who? No, the other Kirk, not Kirk Douglas. Married to... Oh, what's it, Kirk? Kirk. His name was Kirk, but what's his, not his name? Anyway, he did that film Tango in Cash, didn't he? So if I think that, second kit, Kirk, what's his face? It is complicated, but that's how my brain works. If we could just think of what his name was, he's a handsome man, isn't he? He's wearing well. <laughs> I can't remember him. Goldie Horn's ex-husband, Kirky something or other. Um, beautiful, can you see? Kurt Russell, thank you. Thank you. Can you see how gorgeous that would look with Tango? Tango in the night. See, I remembered it now. I'm on to Kirk Russell and Sylvester Stallone, and I can remember it now. Tango in the night. See how gorgeous that would look with Tango in the night. So this is why you've got to get the early bird, not just because of that fabulous second kit. It would look great with the green goddess because those mint fluorites, but it's a fantastic three-strand bundle. Now, it's the early bird. Uh, so we've got an absolute bargain for you, beautiful jewellery makers out there. Hope you're having a great weekend. Thank you for joining me so early. Got uh, splendid, splendid offers. Actually, this would go gorgeous with the Hannah's Challenge as well. Now, you've got the banded agate. And is it the, the normal black frosted agate as well, darling? They're three millimetre. That's a bit different, isn't it? Three millimetre. I think, is this just our black agate, darling? Oh, it's definitely my banded agate, but is that just my black agate? Yeah, yeah, yes, it is. We can confirm. Three millimetre. Now, we've had the two, which are the much smaller. I see the four, but the three is just that happy halfway house in terms of your beady beading. And the banding, you know those rich purples, it's so distinctive, it really stands out. And uh, just, you've got such gorgeous variation along the strands there. As you can see on the close-up, isn't that lovely? It's lovely to see the polish of the agate and then the frosting of that black agate. It's a real muted, coal black, isn't it? Three gorgeous, do you know what looked fabulous with that? Fabaruni. Oh, you know what I'm going to say, that fabulous high-end strand of the Peridot, yeah. The green and the purple, yum, 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 bubblegum. Look at that, gorgeous. Actually, the turquoise looks splendid as well. Purple and that turquoise looks fantastic. Well, purple and the black and the turquoise is gorgeous. Gorgini. Yeah, fantastic. Three amazing strands. Now, what are you thinking? A bundle. Bundles, you know, when we do them, they're fantastic savings. If you're looking at maybe five pounds a strand, 15 pounds, fair enough. That's a great saving price on Jewelry Maker. We are dealing with real gems. And of course, look at the way those banded agates are cut. It's to bring out the beauty. It's to bring out the banded uh, prettiness, isn't it? I always think it looks nice with red as well, doesn't it? Gorgeous. Look nice with Hannah's challenge today. She's got these red balls. Look at those. 
Lanterns, I should say. Look at those. Whoa, with a purple. Lush, lush, lush. You'll want to be getting involved with that challenge. Uh, but make sure you're dialing right now to get involved with the actual early bird because I promise you won't regret that phone call. It's a free phone number. It's one PNP all day, don't forget. Two ninety-five dollars postage packaging for the day. Hooray! Uh, three strand pack. Code YUGC31. $9.95. It's a bundlicious bargain. And it's the early bird special. So thank you for watching. Because you know invariably sometimes the early bird does sell out or gets allocated in the live show. So remember my gorgeous web buyers, sorry about the kerfuffle yesterday. And I know on the overnight you weren't able to buy on the web, but uh, rest assured, I'm pretty sure it's all been fixed. So start that web order. Proceed to check out if you're just bidding. It's, a, it's an entity whereby you're just thinking about it. And a phone buy another web buyer can take that stock from you because obviously you haven't committed to the purchase and if you do experience any problems please let us know ring the call center because this is the free phone number and then you know that's the only way we'll know something's up and we can get it rectified but I'm pretty sure everything's running smoothly this morning I hope I haven't cursed him now by saying that that's what, usually what happens isn't it uh, 9.95 for all three but alternatively any problems, ring the free phone number. They don't bite, they're very friendly. Uh, you know, they're there to help our gorgeous customer service center. And that is a free phone number to really make it accessible and easy for you to get in touch with us this morning. And um, we really want to encourage your involvement today uh, as new jewelry makers and as regular jewelry makers. So lots, lots to see. Getting a little bit of a queue, but that's good because those people waiting are going to be successful because they phone right now. And, you know, we're, we, we do pride ourselves on being as efficient as possible. So as long as we've got that code, as long as you just hold that line, put us on loudspeaker, put us on speed dial on your phone, your mobile or number recall on, the, on your phone as well. Uh, Y-U-G-C-31 or alternatively log on to the website www.jurymaker.com and bob it in your basket. But proceed to check out and it will roll over that one P and P. Love those three. I'm going to leave them to the side here, otherwise Jack takes them away from me. Uh, so we can have a look at those later because they're gorgini. Alrighty, colour. Look at this, colour splash. Everyone's in purple today. I nearly wore purple myself. Hannah's in purple, Jack's in purple. Nearly wore the purple dress. Uh, how are you doing, my darling? I'm well, thank you. She's yeah. well. She's a vision. Does she look gorgeous? Uh, she, are you ready for a challenge? Oh, of course. A bit always. of colour splash? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> We've got it all for Hannah. I'll be going to see Hannah in a moment. And don't forget, this is the day to draw on her talents. Um, I didn't bring any licorice, but I've got a toffee crisp. Oh, OK. Does that do? <laughs> yeah. Marvellous. I don't want her to have any funny, <laughs> funny, funny spells or anything like that. Um, I'd like to keep her, keep her going with a nice biscuit. Four hours is a long time. Uh, Rightio, look at this, it's just a delight. It puts a smile in your face as soon as you see it. Just colour bang. Uh, we've got pink, we've got purple, we've got green, we've got blue, we've got red, we've got fun, fun, fun. Ooh, straight away. Harry do and those lovely green lanterns. Straight away, purple and that early bird special. It's all gonna go with whatever you're gonna get today. Oh yeah, and the turquoise, we've got it all. Ooh, lovely. 25 of the mesh lantern beads. These, I think, are the medium size. Are they the medium? 20 I mil, two centimeter. I know we do the really big ones. Yeah, I um, we did have some smaller ones as well. Yeah, we did. I don't, I don't know if they've gone though. No, but these are the medium. I call them the 25 millimeters. So you've got them in hot candy bubblegum pink. And can you see the way, if we're just looking at that close up there, they're beautifully finished there as well. So, um, and we've got lots of top tips, you know, just to, because obviously that very wide um, diameter there but there's lots of top tips to make those stay in place in, in your beading threading and uh, hanging those between your, your uh, jewellery pieces lots of clever tips we can give you on that um, so you've got the purple the beautiful rich purple and the vibrant lime green I mean we've really gone for primary colours I mean a beautiful I mean this is like your Russian neon blue appetite colour this is just gorgeous and there's such a focal point in your jewellery and then hot pillar box red right at the top so 25 of those gorgeous lanterns lovely wire mesh as well actually you could just throw those three millimeter little um black agates that we just had in the early bird around that could just do like a little cuff around that couldn't you um but look at the jamboree of gem goodiness look at these 
through two strands of multicolored agate, 10 millimeter and six millimeter, every color under the sun. Looks like a carnival, doesn't it? It's like gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's, better, it's easy to say what color don't you see? I've got purple, pink, blue, black, navy blue, bright green, yellow lemon meringue pie, gold, navy blue, burgundy, Ron Burgundy's in there. Uh, smoky Quartz <laughs> Brown's in there as well. Uh, I've got every, I mean, it is agate, but we've got every, and I love the little six millimeters as well. So we've got, they look like bubbles. They look like balloons at the carnival, don't they? So two great sizes there for Hannah to work with in today's challenge, but we've bundled it all together. What's this called, Carnival Magic? Party time. Yeah, just make it up. Party time. Yeah, you can see we're having a party. Um, then we've got some exciting cords. 1.5 millimeter baby blue um, satin cord, and you get five one meters. So five meters total, and they are five individual one meter lengths satin cord. That's a lovely um, violet indigo blue. It's like, do you know what it is? It's the blue chalcedony blue. You know, it's, it's almost like a, there's a touch of violet in there. Baby blue, that's so cute. And then we've got the actual um, purple elastic, 100 meters of the purple elastic, which is great fun. And you also get 10 of the large organza bags as well in the lovely lime green, mojito green. Mmm, gorgeous, gorgeous. So we've got party bags to make. We've got cord, we can do our macrame, we can just do our fancy ribbon with our organza. You know, if we've got some of that at home, we've got our lovely stretchy elastic. And this is a real fun one for the kids as well, I'm thinking, because of the ease of using the elastic, the fun of the colors, the lanterns. But for the big kids like myself as well, this is just beautiful and versatile to add to our store with our beading threads, our silver. I mean, because you can, you can really make this magical. You could really give it a high-end look with the purples, maybe your amet, I mean, just that second kit coming up today as well. Your amethyst, maybe some rich black onyx. So it could be a real nighttime look, but then we can go fun and party with the pinks and the greens. I'll go see what Hannah thinks in a moment, see what she's going to do with it, because this is going to be Hannah's challenge throughout the show, and she'll be giving us top tips. So if you're watching for the first time ever on Jewelry Maker, this is a brand new hobby for you. We deal in real gemstones. It's a one stop shop where when you ring that free phone number, you can get everything you need under the one roof whether it's the findings, the threading materials, the gemstones, the extras, and, uh, well, the courses as well. Yeah, our courses coming up. I'll just talk to Hannah about that later as well. Uh, she's, she's not here in office mode, okay, Fiona? <laughs> she, you know, talk to her about that on the Monday. She's here in fun mode, jewelry-making mode. I know. <laughs> CPG C84. It's nothing ominous. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> worried. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, CPGC uh, 81. 21 95. 25 of those lanterns. Two gorgeous banded agate. I mean, some of them aren't banded, some of them are beautiful bright balloon colours um, and then the sa five metres of the satin cord, 100 metres of the purple elastic, 10 of the gorgeous sateen organza bags and all for 21.95. I think that's a bargain because even on our own website you can see you know what we sell the lanterns at separately and uh, you know as a first time buyer we'll give you our free DVD and our jewellery maker booklet so you can go at your own pace and get our top tips. If you haven't already watched the eight o'clock slot with Linda, Lucy and Sheila, you can actually get some in-depth starter um, tips as well to start your jewellery making every morning for that first hour, eight till nine. But we send you that with your first ever order so you can just get to know us a little bit better on the back. We've got our courses, other DVDs that we sell um, to increase your and expand your own jewellery maker talents. Those are the regular, you know, the resin courses, the resin, D your DVDs, your, your polymer clay, your silver clay, your bridal, wear your beady beading we've got it all visit the studios visit the website let's go and see the lovely hannah and see what she thinks she's our gorgeous resident designer she's got all the top tips and the ideas what do you think my darling girl well i'm absolutely addicted to color so yes i really know you are you are the color you yeah. are the you are the caribbean bird if you like of the office bird of paradise bird of paradise yeah. exactly <laughs> that that's a nice, much nicer way of saying it the just, Caribbean or just bird. the daft old bird, because you know, you know, either way. That's my role. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll share that. 
Um, but the other thing I thought is that I'm, I'm going to try and practice what I preach. So I'm always telling people in the Hub magazine and whenever I see them that they should have a go yep. at doing some of the other um, techniques if they've never yeah. tried it. So I've had a crash course from Jack this morning on macrame. It's true, it's true. So I th I'm hopefully going to give it a bit of a go with this, so with the chords and things. I so it could be a complete and utter disaster. Not at all, not but, at all. you know, I'm always telling people to have a go, so I'm going to have a go. Good girl yourself, good girl yourself. So we're thinking with the satin chord, maybe a bit of macrame. Yeah, I'm thinking try, try if, if I can make it work, to do mm -hmm. macrame and maybe some of the mesh balls. Mm. Um, and then I've got this huge thing of elastic here. So, so I've got to use that. Yeah, that's kind of screaming out for like a, 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 a multi-stranded stretchy. Exactly. Or something, you know. I so. mean, I know you can have a, you can have a little delve anyway with yeah. any of the bits. I might end up twanging stash. things across the studio though. Twanging. So if, if I knock Jack out, sorry. Every <laughs> 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 you know. crash album yeah. in this water. <laughs> Just gonna get a ping in the face. Um, Rightio. So we're, we'll be joining Hannah throughout the show uh, to see how this is developing, and at the end of the show, conclude with uh, the gorgeous designs. But we'll also be drawing on Hannah's talents in terms of the other pieces that she actually made with the brand new kids today because they're gorgeous. Gorgeous. How did you find all those? Uh, amazing. Well, one kit in particular, I, I can't think how many pieces of jewellery. It's something like nine pieces of jewellery from one kit. So it, just, it just kept going and I was like, there's more in the bag. <laughs> and we've got a nice variation because we've so, not just got the silver, we've got the gold plated findings yes. as well today. So a nice mixture. So it's been a while since we had those. We've had the silver plate, but if you love the gold plate as well, one of the kits has got that in there as well. So, all right, my darling. Well, I'll leave you to that. Thank you. I'll feed over the cock to Toffee Crisp when we get a mo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And don't forget, uh, please text us in to 60777. So this is the time to draw on Hannah's talents. Any questions about jewellery maker in general, you know, anything you're experiencing or you, it's gone wrong or you'd just like to say hi, give us a shout out. Let's know how you're getting on. Are you making your jewellery as you're watching? Start your message text with JM Studio and it definitely gets sent in to us here. And it's 60777 and normal network charges apply. And um, we've already had a message this morning from Jennifer. She's hot off the press. Wow. Saying what a fab week she's had already. Is that what you said? Yeah. Fabulous. Jennifer, good morning, darling. Very good morning to you. She's in Bristol, of course. This is our regular Jennifer, regular watch here. She says, hi, girls. Oh, what a fab week, she says, uh, with you, Fee. Oh, bless your heart. Aka Elvis in the sitting room <laughs> for three days, bringing such fun and beautiful gems. Your number one fan, Jennifer in Bristol. Thank you, Jennifer. It's not a show unless you text me in, darling. Otherwise, I feel very lonesome. Very lonesome. Excuse it's nice pardon. when you get regulars, isn't, isn't it? it? I know, yeah. it is nice. It's like a family. It's like a family. So uh, keep those texts coming. It's gorgeous to be with you here today. All righty. And we've got more Wall of Fames. So I'll try and get through more of these today because we, we ran out of time yesterday because, boy, did we work uh, the lovely Laura. We really worked her yesterday. Yes. Yeah. She, she was exhausted, but She happy. was exhausted. She had steam coming out of her ears. It was <laughs> non-stop. It was relentless. So we didn't quite get through all the Wall of Fames, but we'll try and get through as many. Lots uh, today, then. Yeah, lots today, then. All righty. I'm going to get ready for a bundelicious bundle. We're going straight to it, darling. I'll leave Hannah to the challenge and we'll go straight to okay. our first three strand pack. And I'm thinking the green goddess later on that this would look beautiful with it simply because of the mint green fluoride that we've got in the kit. Um, and this is fabulous. Look at these. We've got the lovely, what really catches my eyes are those um, beautiful dark jet black um, frosted buttons here. Um, black onyx, they're 11 millimeter. And because it's frosted, you, you, you get a more sateen finish off the luster of the gemstones there. And you'll notice the unusual African bloodstone. It's not the most... Um, sexiest of names for a gemstone but it literally says what it is it's not physically blood or anything like that but the red specks this is what they call it in africa look like the, the redness you know of our um, of the blood itself and it's more it's a real dark richness and it's, it speckles itself throughout the actual um gem it's a beautiful unusual strand for jewelry maker yeah and it's, you know, it's your mineral content in there, creating all those, there's, some of them are, are lesser speckles, some of them are, are like a lovely dove gray, um, others, it almost looks like you splashed it with paint. It almost looks like, ooh, Fee's got a bit of a nail varnish there on that gemstone. It's actually, a, it's phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah, it's the iron in there, you know, you get these this gorgeous rich red patterning with it. I mean, you just look at those three, how different 
all three of those gems are and that's all the one gem so it's a, it's a form of your jasper as it were just gorgeous speckled with those rich red flecks of very very different dark orbs like a silvery dark dove grey orb and then as you can see some of them are real milky white moon white and then others have that rich embodiment of a, almost like a coating of the red it does almost look unreal because the way that those splashes just occur but that is just the amazing natural beauty of the gemstones so that's just one gemstone strand 300 carats I'll be honest with you I think that's the first time I've seen it this year um, on jewelry maker we certainly don't get it on our our sister channel gems or anything like that um, beautiful beautiful rare energy something different a real talking point in your gem jewelry there and of course as you can see from just that strand I was just showing you everyone is so so different then going back to the frosted onyx and these are 11 millimeters so just a little bit bigger than perhaps we're, we're normally used to um, a lovely lovely frosted sateen finish subtle isn't it real jet black coal black just a real elegant simmering sultry richness there to that black that's a great staple um in your in your jewelry making isn't it that that black onyx there and of course onyx a very recognizable gemstone that we understand and we see in your jewelry in the jewelry shops um, so we'll have an understanding of, of uh, price point and worth and value there. And then we've got the unusual matrix of the bloodstone, that, that African jasper there. And then you've got your bright green pop of your agate. And this is a gorgeous strand. And this, again, different size, faceted rounds, plain rounds, faceted buttons. So we've got some real lovely, interesting, different um, shapes to work with, as well as the visual optical properties here. Bright green, but again, lovely tones. You can see some are banded. Some are more white, some are very vivid green. Look lovely if you want to mix into that, you know, your pretty peridot purples, that amazing gem of distinction strand coming up at uh, 12 o'clock today. Gorgeous with the purples of the early birds. Do you remember the early birds? See what a bargain that was. Hope you got that nice and early. Um, you know, that black strand is just going to go with all three kits today. It's a, it's a cracking way to increase your store, but what I'm really taking within this uh, three strand bundle is that African bloodstone just because we don't have it on the show very often very rarely I mean I don't have you seen it this year Hannah I haven't seen it uh, not, not outside of a kit no, no. so we, we, we've well we're starting to get a few new things through mm. um, but it's taken quite a long time to source anything well so, it's um, real gems isn't it so this absolutely is, yeah. so yeah there, there's quite a few nice things coming through but that's that's uh, one of the first. There we go. And the difficulty is in the sourcing. And sometimes, you know, you could be waiting another 12 months before you see it again. We're struggling on our sister channel for your Morganites, your Kunzites, Paribas, a bit years ago. Um, so, you know, you, those gems that you think, oh, I'm safe, I'll be seeing those again. You know, you just don't, because these are real gemstones. You never can tell. And invariably, when they disappear from the marketplace because of lack of availability, not lack of demand, uh, that drives those prices up. So uh, remember, jewellery maker deals in real gemstones and where possible, uh, we'll go direct to the source to make sure we bring you the best, best deals possible. All righty, let's give you that deal. Woo! What a bargain. That'd be tremendous just for, I know, I knew the dogs heard that. Woo! Uh, for the African Bloodstone, wouldn't it? 12 95 I mean, that's champion for the Black Onyx. Did you see that Laura's fantastic? Uh, she did that lovely silver wrap ring yesterday with the one millimeter gauged wire, the silver plated copper wire, and it was just a little round button of white quartz. Wouldn't that look lovely? Just one of those gemstones as your signature signet ring there uh, with the wire wrap of the silver. And it was, she did it in minutes. She's just like a, she's like a machine. She's not like the Terminator, because that makes it, well, she does finish things really quickly. So yeah, she is the Terminator. I'm gonna call her the Terminator. Laura Binding is the Terminator. She starts and she finishes really quick. Uh, I mean that in a nice way. 12, you know, she's just super quick. But you know, you just think one of those black onyxes in a silver plated copper wire. I mean, just that's a beautiful ring. And you think of black onyx and then, and then that strand that's 180 carats real genuine gemstones then the african bloodstone so different such a feature such a that would look so nice do you remember uh, yesterday's early bird oh gosh that would just be heaven to mix that with the silver dove grays of the labradorite and the crackle white quartz 
So we haven't got to use these three together, but that was a very popular bundle yesterday. And well done you if you got it, because that, just get this bundle now, because that would look tremendous with it. That would be such, you'd have three amazing gemstone strands in your jewelry there. Labradorite, African bloodstone, and the white crackle white quartz. Or oh, did you get, and I forgot to look it up again, and I promised I would, didn't I? I'm not useless. Um, that lovely uh, silver sort of cat's eye moonstone. I forgot, I'll put it on my Facebook page because I totally forgot this morning. All righty, moving on. Is it our first new kit today, darling? Code to that was TQGC34. All right, our first new kit of the day. Thank you, because I had forgotten. I remember Tango in the Night and uh, Green Goddess, but this one, Hollywood Sunset. What have I got to think about? 1940s, silver screen, because I've got black and silver in there and white, and then Sunset, okay. Think Barbara, think Norma, Norma. No, I was thinking Sunset, Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this, lush. Lush, lush. They're, sorry, darling, I always forget that. That's where you're trying to get it. Now, this is the kit, just to point out, this is the kit with the gold plated finding. So, this kit is uh, 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 just a little bit different from the norm, and also a little bit different from the norm because in this kit we've got Unakite. So, I'm going to actually start with the Unakite. Normally, I start with the strands, but it's this lovely, like someone's eaten half the donut. Uh, oh, is this the Unikite one? No, it's this, it's this Sardonic, darling. There's definitely Unikite coming up on the show today. Yes, it is. It is my pendant. Yes, thank you, darling. I was going to say, don't have look like Unikite. So let's just start with that, because that's your pendant. And uh, there is a beveled faceting on there. But did you, I'm just going to put that down so you can look at all those gorgeous colours. Now, that is an Unikite pendant, 75 carats. And it's a combination of your three gemstone minerals, your green epidote, your pink feldspar, and your quartz. And it's a gem that is, um, if you're into the metaphysical side of your gem, encourages you to live in the present rather than in the past. So it's a unification of, of um, moving away from doing things the old way and, and permitting creativity to flower. So this is just gorgeous from a sense of point of view from your jewellery making. And um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous gemstone from the Greek epidosis, meaning growing together, because you've got a combination of these red jaspers, the green epidote and the pink Feldspar growing together, binding together, drawing off all that negativity. So it's supposed to lift your spirits when you're feeling down. So it's a gemstone that's supposed to help you see the beauty in life. I'm sure you can see at home the beauty in that Unakite. It's just gorgeous, lovely mixed together. So I, I get very excited when I see gems like this because I don't get to talk about them very often. So hence my starting with the unusual pendant. Let's move on from there because it doesn't just stop there. How many strands is like never ending strandness? Um, look at this, it's staying with a the mottled theme, but more of a silver grey and pinks. Really pretty. Um, this is my plain 10 millimetre rounds, and it's my fossil jasper. 270 carats. But can you see there's, there's like little pink flecks in there? They're very subtle, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? So lovely if you did mix a bit of pink in there, like some rose quartz or... Um, but I just love those patterns, aren't they gorgeous? Your gorgeous fossil jasper. Just so, so different. And, and tying in with sort of the speckliness of the unikite there as well. I know they're different colours, but sort of the matrix. It's more defined in the actual jasper because of the, uh, the definition, the delineation of the black, but there are some very gentle, dusty rose pinks in there as well. Then we've got the red sardonics, 10 millimeter rounds as well, 275 carats. And this is picking up the orangey reds, I think, in the unikite um, of the pink feldspar. They're coming together of that. Can you see that? Um, this is your red sardonics. This is the real, because sard meaning red, sardonyx it is the same family as your onyx but the sard is the red side of that family so that's why you've got that beautiful you used to get mistaken for your car carnelian similar to your red agates but it's a real brick red beautiful gem that was just cherished throughout the century especially roman times because that red that sard color was just so so rich and vibrant then we've got the eight millimeter rounds of our rainbow jasper now this ties, I think, these two gems together, so I'm gonna sandwich it in the middle. 
because you've got the reds of your sardonics, the sard, then you've got your dark gray blacks of your fossil jasper, and it seems to go halfway between the two. Can you see why I say that? Isn't that lovely? Can you see the reds in there? Yeah, darker blacks in there. That's your, uh, your eight millimeter rainbow jasper rounds. So three strands and I'm not done yet. I've got four millimeter, 40 carats of black agate. Heavens above, can we cram any more into this kit? Bear with me, I'll get there eventually. Uh, 40 carats and there's more. How can there be more, Fee? You've already shown me four strands and the beautiful half a noon kite donut pendant, but there is. I'm gonna bring you Named after Lake Biwa in Japan, the Biwa pearls, those elongated stalactites of genuine pearl with that fantastic pearlescence and iridescence. Look at that shape. It's gorgeous. Just love Biwa pearls. They've, they're like fingers. They're so exciting. And uh, isn't that beautiful with your fossil jasper and the black agate just naturally sat there, just ties those in and you've got a lovely pearlescence and they're, and they're kind of created by putting those little chips of um, a nucleus, a sort of squared off nucleus in the soft mantle tissue of the pearl and then that, that's what creates that long beaver shape. Oof. But we don't measure that as caraway, as you know. Now then, I'm just simply have to go to put it die because I've got enough hands to hold everything that's in this, uh, in this uh, kit. Because you've got, as well, copper findings. Now these remind me of skirts, parcels. These are big, and you should see Hannah's jewellery. They look fan dabby double dozy in there. Just gorgeous. Um, you get five of these, and they do. They look like A line skirts, and they're drilled through top and bottom, brushed copper findings. Aren't they lovely? Gorgeous texture on them. Beautiful size. Plus, uh, so on these you get five of these. I'm just wondering, have we got a size on these? Yeah, pack of five that the copper be 18 by 13 millimeter and they're e-coated. So um, we're thinking of the allergies. We're thinking of, uh, they're more hypoallergenic and it also means uh, that, that resistance to tarnishing, the copper coating is, because you're allergic to copper, aren't you, uh, D? So you were able to handle these, weren't you? Ah, right, and if they're e-coated, if they're against your skin, the idea is you don't get that allergy and that allergic reaction to them. And it also, if you like, uh, retains that beautiful bright copper luster on the gemstones because precious metals, noble metals, they do sometimes tarnish. So you've got that stability in the actual um, fresh look of that gorgeous copper pink. Then you've got your sterling silver, so we've got those as well, cord ends. So this is, gives you a clue that there must be ribbon in the kit. Sterling silver, three and a half inch length of chain, lobster claw, claw clasp and a ribbon end at one end, and then the bolt ring clasp, well the jump ring I should say, and the cord end at the other for you to crimp. Uh, so you get four of those and they are 925 sterling silver and you've got that three and a half inch of chain on there as well. You get 10 meters of your beautiful neon blue appetite ribbon. I'm tying this in, you see with the challenge already. 10 of those, uh, so that's 100 meters in total. So there's 10 individual one meter strands. Good ends. You get two meters of the waxed um, blue cord, two meters of the waxed orange cord as well. They're 0.6 millimeter in width. Oh, no, it's never ending. I'll get there eventually. Uh, you get 10 of the bright medium sized orange organza bags as well as your black and your purple organza bag. 50 meters of your beading thread. I'm coming to the end. Six meters of your clear elastic. And hold on a minute. We've got as well and you get your eight, you get your 80 meters of your monofilament. Oh, my elastic's gone somewhere. Don't worry about that, but you get that. Um, and then you get gold plated findings. So monofilament beading thread. And the beading thread is that bright neon blue appetite color as well. So lovely, tying in with the ribbons, tying in with the cord. Um, so it's that bright blue beading thread. You get your elastic and the monofilament. But back to the gold plated findings, 100 gold plated copper findings. Shepherd hooks, three pairs, 15 of the head pins, 15 of the crimp beads, 
10 of the jump seven millimeter rings, 10 of the four millimeter beads, a meter of the twisty oval loop chain, 10 of the eye pins, pair of the chandeliers, 20 of the crimp beads, heart toggle, plain toggle, and a bolt ring clasp and a jump ring. Now, I've just been informed you may not get the stretchy elastic. Am I bothered? Bothered? No, because I've got millions of stretchy elastic uh, bundles at home. Rest assured, everything else you see, you do get, because we always have loads of elastic left over from our kits, don't we? So you definitely get the, the copper blue uh, beading thread and the monofilament, so I apologise for that, my mistake. All righty, heavens above, that took some time. Is it Tuesday? Must be, must be. Um, we got there in the end. There's just so much going on. I mean, as a new starter, what more could you need? You've got, you've got uh, stuff to do, your macrame, your ribbon work, you've got extra copper beading, you've got gold-plated findings, you've got five strands, you've got a pendant, you've got your monofilament, you've got your gift bags coming out your ears to make jewellery and start an industry, quite frankly. Um, and it's brand new today and it's called Hollywood Sunset. And we are going to see... Um, I've left I've left a little bit of time to see Hannah's designs, bless her, because um, it took a, an age to get through it all, because there's just so much, isn't there? Um, what on earth is going to be the price point? £50, surely. There's that much going on in there. Goodness me, £24.95. I'm already sold on those strands for five strands, even at a fiver each. We're at £25, OK? You've got 100 gold-plated findings. You've got a, a, a Unakite pendant. This is really going to get you started because that's your gem of creativity. 75 carats. You've got silver cord ends, wax cord, 100... Uh, meters of ribbon, orange organza bags, monofilament, electric blue beading thread. In the challenge that Hannah's doing today, the lovely bright blue lanterns as well. Wouldn't that look gorgeous with it? Heavens above, all for as little as twenty four ninety five. I know, and don't forget new jewelry makers, free Hub magazine, getting your vault behind the scenes. Every month we issue a new one. Free get started booklet, free get started DVD. And if you wanted to gift buy this as a purchase for a birthday, an anniversary, you're introducing jewelry maker to a friend and you're a regular, just let the call centre know on that free phone number right now that you'd like that starter DVD and booklet in the purchase. You are a regular buyer, but it's for a present. I mean, as a present, you just open that and it's never ending. And you might think, you might be overwhelmed and think, well, I don't know where to start. That's when you say, let me introduce you to jewelry maker. Let me pop that DVD in the booklet. There's a lot of people that, we haven't had the greatest summer, have we? So let's stay inside, uh, when it's not so nice. It might be nice today, but there are days when the rain cometh and it never stoppeth. And uh, this is a great hobby to get introduced to and stuff. Is this the one where you made about 50 billion pieces yes. of jewellery? This yeah. Is, this is the one that just kept going and kept going and kept going. I think we need an extension to the show for this <laughs> yeah, kit, quite or, frankly. Or a larger desk. <laughs> we just need, the whole four hours should just have been devoted to this kit, because that's how long it takes to get through it all. I'm going to go see Hannah. I need a glug. Where's the gin? I need a glug after all that talking bear with me i'm gonna walk and talk <laughs> there's just so much to get through darling i know i'm parched after that lot you should see it though <laughs> we huh? look at this lot did you start making this in february it feels like it, <laughs> it <does. laughs> look at this smorgasbord surely i mean you must have had findings left over beautiful uh, and yeah. elastic well you know do you know what? I think I've actually still I've got a few gemstones Ribbon. as well. Yeah, really? So I, I probably could have made a couple more things, but by the time I'd made this lot, I was sort of falling asleep at my Exactly. <laughs> I've got two more kits to work with here yet. Yeah, ribbon galore would have been left, findings so, yeah. would have been left, but you've, we're concentrating on the gems. So talk me through your designs, my darling girl. So I've got five necklaces, two pairs of earrings, and a triple bracelet. <gasps> And wow. then bits left over, so it goes a long, long way. It's incredible. That's a showstopper. Look at that. I now we're this one. Yeah. we are going to show you how to make this, so I won't linger too long. But isn't that gorgeous? And you've made the earrings to match. Yes, I, I do like things that match. So um, me too. Whether it's a, a bracelet or a pair of earrings, it's nice to have something that goes with the necklace. Oh, they they're like a handbag, yeah. aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous. And is that just simply the chain? How do you yeah. get your chain attached to it's your finding? Just there? using um, just using an eye pin and make a little wrapped loop, uh -huh. um, and then attach a piece of chain, and then the shepherd's hook on the end. There we go. Simple. Very as. very simple. Yeah. Because you do get that meter length of the gold plated chain. Uh, and that in. goes along way as well doesn't it and uh, <laughs> this is beautiful because you're really bringing out the colors of the uh, unakite there with your yeah, your, your, your jaspers and your like, um, sardonyx 
I don't know why, but I keep, I keep wanting to call it the cradle of life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, I'll go with yeah, that. Yeah. Especially if you're saying that the gemstone is a gem of creativity. Yes, so, well, most definitely. Yeah, it probably is a cradle of life. <laughs> yeah, so unifying I, I gem. Just, I really like the pendant, and I thought I don't, I don't want to go too fussy with it. I just, no. I just want people to be able to see the pendant and the fact that when you get them home and look at them close up, they're they're so intricate. The colours in there. I was incredible. just looking at yours and how different it is to the one I've got over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, they're really, they're like. You just can't get over how pretty they can be, and considering they're natural, it's yeah. like you'd think somebody designed it to look like I, that. I know. So. There's paint splashes on the, well, it's not paint, on the bloodstone, but you just think someone's just gone... It's Mother you know. Nature, being I know. creative. She is. She's a wonderful <laughs> artiste. And lovely use of the ribbon, and you've got at the back here the lovely finish of your silver cord end Yeah, there. well, that, that one, I... Um, Last time I went out when I was in with Lucy, I'd had a, a kit with the ribbon and yeah. I, I told her about the fact that there's a nail on top of a, a mirror in our house that hangs Christmas decorations from, <laughs> but it's also a convenient vantage point to put your ribbon onto to then plait it because Fantastic. it's such a long piece of ribbon. You need the anchor, don't you? Yeah, that so I pla yeah. plaited the ribbon with the cords. Yes, and then, your orange cords And then there. doubled it up and then put a simple little wrap That's loop so on the end. Um, so pretty. And it's very, very simple, but I think it's quite effective. Very effective. And, and the colour, because you actually see mm. the ribbon kind of close together, is, is, is quite intense. It's, it's a beautiful richness, yeah. Mm. And Fine. then a gorgeous, see, this is it. Yeah, little so, things that go with yeah, it. so stylish. And that one, all, all I did oh, with that, I I, it's actually um, inspiration from the lovely Sheila and Linda, the pair of them. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who it was that first did it, but just by threading on a couple of jump rings over a wrapped loop, it just makes the, the piece look a little more finished, a little very more expensive. Very rich, very, yeah, it looks so expensive actually, yeah. Like that a lot. Like a little halo. It is like a little halo. And then nice use of the beaver here because you really want to see their shape, yes. don't you? And, and they're drawing the eye down. And again, you've done, you know, the gold. Mixed it up a bit. Yeah. 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 It's just a, a variation. I, I thought sometimes, I mean, you might want to just use one strand of gemstones together, but I quite, I quite like mixing them up to see what happens. But again, by not, not being too fussy with it, you can really get to see what the gemstone looks like. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's enough a light, a light that gets around them. So when, the more you look at it, the more you'll see. And I like, I like the fact you've got those little agates in there. There's four millimeters because they just, they They're just perfect. I yeah, think, they I make the fossil rounds jump out more. If you've got any feature gemstones, if you've got a small gemstone or a chip or something that you can put between it. It really I does it. draw the eye to, yeah. the, to the focal bead there. Definitely. So they're, very, they're very useful to have in a kit. And I'm going to go down to this beautiful triumvirate. <laughs> is, I mean, we talk, that's exactly what you're just talking about oh, there. A triumvirate. <gasps> a triumvirate, it, yes. Is, is that what they're called? Three. That sounds Three, very a triumvirate. And if you, if you spin it round, you can see spin. how I've... I've just made a little um, divider out, out using a head pin. Oh yes, yes. And, and cut the ball off the end and then just looped it round the end of my pliers so you get three little loops. If yeah, because uh, we do them anyway, don't we? But if you you yeah, actually just yeah. created your own there, and you made that out of a head pin, did you say? Yeah, that, that's out of a head pin, oh. and then the clasp is actually an earring hook. Clever. Hook. Fabulous. It's, it's does just, that look great? It's just a very easy way of making a little divider. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and then the I mean, it's, it's up to you. I mean, some people might might want all of the strands to sort of hang together yeah, or maybe twist overlap, them or something. Maybe, yeah. but I quite like the idea of. In, on this particular one, sort of forcing them to be, to be... Sandwiching the dark between the light there, yeah. yeah. That's a good way of explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> and then our lovely use of the, I mean, very classy, and I love to see those toggles at the front. I, yeah, I, really I think those toggles do. are so pretty, it's a shame to hide them Isn't away. It? So, I mean, because I've got quite long hair, I, I tend to think, well, if I've got a toggle that looks that pretty, it's I'm going to gonna gonna use it well. as a feature. Yeah, yeah. there's no faffing around, you can but see what you're doing, because exactly. it's at the front. <laughs> exactly. And use the the, uh, an earring chandelier as a, as a decoration. Isn't that gorgeous? Just don't keep the weight of it. Reels. So it just shows you how far the chain Amazing. goes, because there's, there's two the, necklaces yeah. and one, a pair two, of earrings. And the earrings. From that one piece of chain. Do you mind if I just do this with this? Because no, I know you're you going can, to show us how to... I'm dying just to put it on the neckline, just to... <gasps> look at that, because I just I feel very that bare. That looks really nice with your outfit, Well, let's see, I was wanting to wear it, and I thought, well, I know <laughs> this is the first kit, but doesn't that look fantastic on? I think Isn't that gorgeous? You see, it was very boring before. It's all just a big, expansive neck. Uh, but now, <laughs> look at that. Fabulous. Now, this is what we're actually going to show you how to devise, as it were. Yeah. Mm, like that a lot. That's it's beautiful. Good. Beautiful, it does go with darling. Yes, well, the actually. reds and the blacks there, yeah. yeah. All right, my darling. And then the, well, the other thing that you perhaps don't realise, like from looking at the jewellery, but the, the threading material, the threading. Um, 
Beady thread, that's the word bright I'm looking for. Blue. It's bright blue, yeah. but you, really, you don't sort of see it because, I mean, you can if you look closely, but most of the time, you, you just well, I can't see. No, I wouldn't have known on obviously yeah. the full necklaces but, here. But all of all of the beaded ones are on the blue. Are on the blue wire, yeah. So don't think, oh, that's a, a detrimental or anything. It's uh, and it's something you can actually make a real feature of in your clear gems and uh, uh, anyway, and with the ribbon, do more. Definitely, definitely. The, rib oh. the ribbon goes on. You've got ribbon oh. everywhere with these kids. Beautiful. <laughs> I love a bit of ribbon. So gorgeous. I do. I do. All righty. So. Um, what, I was, what I'm going to demonstrate then is actually how to make the, the central tassel here um, and essentially the, the technique for making this central tassel is the same one that you use for the other little embellishments on this necklace and also um, it also it explains the earrings that we showed earlier as well. Uh -huh. So um, I've taken uh, one of the eye pins and threaded on one of my little copper beads. I, I do love these, particularly the brushed effect, yes. really nice. And then I'm just going to make a little wrapped loop with that at the top. So you hold on to the bead like that, take your round nose plier, clamp the top, fold it over like that, turn your pliers the other way, and bring your tail, if you like, over the top. And give it a little twist. Are you sniggering at the fact I said tail? <laughs> <laughs> Get one like that. And then because it's quite tough and I'm quite hot, I'm just going to use the flat nose pliers to get hold of the end piece of wire and wrap it around. I feel like I'm doing it slightly cat handed. So bear with me. And you just keep wrapping that little end round so that it doesn't stick out because you don't want a scratchy part on the uh, pendant. Whoops. It's not going to play ball, so I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. Then to embellish that, because it's on a head pin, turn it upside down. And again, using the flat nose pliers, um, you just need to open the loop at the bottom, like that. So you twist it sort of away from you, rather, rather than opening it. How do you explain it? It's like, it's like opening a, it's like a, the door, a, a stable it? door. Yes, stable door. Ra rather than opening the lid of a box. Does that make yes. sense? Yes, not, it does. But well, it's, it's not explaining it very well. The idea is you don't, up, yeah, you, yeah. Do, you don't want to weaken the, the, um, the loop. Compromise the, the loop, So I've yeah. cut a little piece of chain, and I don't really mind if it's symmetrical or not, because I quite like it just to hang as it would naturally. Mm -hmm. Just thread it on, and close the little loop again. So that's the bottom piece, like that. Oops, dropped it. And then you can start making it into, well, you make a few of these, so you could use them as earrings or you can use them as embellishments on a, on a necklace. But to add it to the bottom of this necklace, I'm just going to put it down again. And then take a piece of your beading thread, thread it through your wrapped loop that you made to start with, just like that. And then take one of the four mil beads, which is the smallest one you've got, and thread the wire through so that it crosses over and clamps your copper finding in place. And so you will get two. Yes, we it's amazing it, actually. Yeah. You wouldn't think that you would, but mm. it does actually go through. Then you do exactly the same thing through, whoops, it wants to stand up, through the next bead. Like this. So they clamp together. Twisting for me. It's the joy of live TVs, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. So you, so you end up, I don't know if you can see, you've got two little beads down there clamped together. Then on each end of your wire, or your, your beading thread rather, you put another little bead on. Let them fall down. And then a final one where you take both wires through again. So again, that makes like a little knot inside the bead. Pull it tight, and then you end up with your oops, forming down there. Mm -hmm. And then once again, through your four mil bead, if I can find the hole, there it is. Just 
like that. Thread them on, and that is effectively oh, your central part. tassel. Yeah. I don't know which camera we're on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Like that. And then if you just look back at the main necklace itself, you can see I've just threaded on beads as and where I wanted to, following up here. So I've threaded on some more of these yeah. little components wherever I fancied, and then I've just is here, but attached them to a piece of the chain. Ah, oh, so you did that first bit, and then yeah. So so yeah, I've effectively yeah. made made the embellishment as one sort of separate component, uh -huh. and then when I've closed it off, I've attached it to chain. Fantastic! And it Isn't makes it go gorgeous. further. Just so uh, the start of that presentation was the principle of the earrings, anyway, wasn't yes, it? With the, yeah. Uh, so it's I it's the same technique. Once, yeah. once you've got the hang of doing that, that you know you can make as many as you like. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be the copper beads at the bottom. No. It can be anything you want, yeah. as long as there's a tassel and then the quadrant and then into a little section. Gorgeous, gorgeous and easy, so easy. effective. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, we shall join Hannah again later on and I'm just going to take you through the kit again because there is so much. It's huge isn't it? It, it is, is a huge. massive and kit. And I, I feel responsible to, to, to really reiterate just how much you've got in that beautiful kit. So I mean we've got nine pieces of beautiful jewellery here, five necklaces, two earrings and, and, and a bracelet there. Did I, I count that right one too? Eight pieces, eight pieces. Eight pieces. Eight pieces. Um, but there was loads left over. So uh, let me just, uh, shall I go back and, um, yeah, yeah, shall we go back and have, an, have, an, have another look? And then uh, I know we've got the Wall of Fame coming up, but um, I can pop back and see Hannah in a mo. But there is so much going on. I think it's worth looking at closely just because I just think you're getting great, great value. So if you're feeling down, let's lift your spirits with that fantastic 75 carat Unakite pendant that you saw feature in the Cradle of Life necklace that Tana made. Um, the five strands that you actually get in the kit are, let's take you through them, those wonderful versatile four millimetre black agate rounds that are 40 carats, 160 carats of the rainbow jasper eight millimetre rounds, 275 carats of the rich red terracotta sardonyx, of the 10 millimetre fossil rounds you get 270 carats, and then the B were pearls as well. You get four of your sterling silver cord ends, five of your copper E-coated um, little skirts, those five beads as well. You get 10 of your orange organza bag, 10 of your one meter satin, uh, satin organza ribbons in that neon appetite blue, two meters of the 0.6 waxed cord in the blue, two meters of the 0.6 waxed cord in the gold, um, the bright blue, uh, beautiful beading thread and the monofilament. You still get your purple and your black organza bag. And in one of those bags, you get 100 pieces of the gold plated findings with that wonderful versatile chain and the chandelier earrings, the jump rings, the crimp beads. So all going on, toggle clasps, everything you saw in Hannah's jewellery is in this kit. So it's got everything you fundamentally need to get started. And it's only, I mean, I was thinking, it's got to be close to 50 pounds, 24.95, okay? For the first new kit of the day, Hollywood Sunset. And there's a Facebook family out there as well. If you plug in our jewellery maker um, name, that'll bring up all of the gorgeous, helpful Facebook family as well. Designers that you see here on the show, uh, people that have got involved as well, that have done the courses that can help you with top tips. So if you're new today, start with a kit, ring the free phone number. Um, kits are put together, but they're always limited edition, okay? It's not just something we've got endless of. You know, there might be 100, 150 of them made and they're really I mean it's, I don't want to say 24 hours but sometimes they do go in that 24 hours with repeats overnight as well so when you see something you just think that's perfect and when you've got so much in it uh, make sure you're dialing today and not missing out shall we have a look at some of the viewers designs? let's have a look let's yeah, have a look why? let's have a look at this week's wall of fame
Um, all right, who have we got? Ooh, okay, and lucky for some, but I don't think, in, don't think so in this case. Number 13. No. But this is incredible. Um, it says, uh, please find attached my second entry to the Wall of Fame. I hope it makes the wall this week and is drawn out on Wednesday. I don't mind which, uh, as, as every little would help my addiction. I need a boost uh, for my confidence and for my finances, which have been... Oh, and uh, uh, oh, sorry. As I've been given the opportunity to present my business uh, in Braintree. Down there in Essex. Yeah, yeah, which is one of the lucky towns that Mary Portis is helping to rejuvenate oh. on the 7th of September. She's amazing, actually. She is amazing. Good for Mary Portis. Yeah. Fantastic. It says, wish me luck and keep beautiful gems and crazy prices. Uh, love and inspiration to all from Elaine Query. So, that. It's beautiful. Yeah. I wonder if your business <laughs> Elaine is jewellery made. Do you think? I don't know. I well, should I have said that. So, so whatever your line of business is, very it good. Should be jewellery making and, and butterfly yeah. tiara. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Beautiful. Good luck with that. Let us know how you get on. The, the, the high street needs rejuvenate. They need to cut down on the, it's the rent. It's the rates, isn't it? The shops. I know. I know. It's lovely little places really hard getting closed. It is. Yeah. You just think the rates are way too. Get all political now. The rates are far too high. <laughs> we for get off our soapbox. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> far too high for the bless them. <laughs> Um, yeah, we want to visit our high street. Never mind the big uh, conglomerates and big uh, supermarkets. Um, right, I'll get off that soapbox. At uh, number 15, <laughs> and this is from... Oh, she's got a little doggy sticker. Guy dogs. Bob Norregis, Mrs Richardson. Hello, darling. Uh, number 15, and uh, Linda. Hello, my darling in West Sussex. Linda Richardson. It's a set made up from round orange pearls and white agate and carnelian nuggets she says she loves watching oh but she's had to hide the phone for a few weeks until the bank balance is happy again <laughs> thank you for my new hobby take care linda from bogner regis linda good luck let's hope this helps the finances and that you might be a winner on wednesday you're number 15. okay uh number 14. Go. Uh, it says, hi GM, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I've used some gorgeous fire agate and copper wire with the gizmo. The smaller beads are some pretty jasper I had in a kit a while ago. I'm just waiting to find a use for them. And they match perfectly. Thinking about Christmas party jewellery now, so looking forward to lots of sparklies. Love the show as always from Diane Price in Bristol. Isn't that fantastic? That's really good. You know, I've had a go at gizmo work recently and it's not as easy as it looks. Like, really? It depends on the gauge of wire. I think I went too chunky too soon. What did you want chunky to I, use? I, I was trying a, a 0.8 and a, and a 1 millimeter. And, yeah. And on my, uh, that, that Rachel, she, she must have proper oh biceps. My, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yeah, I think Laura was saying, she thought you'd be all right with point eight, yeah. but maybe uh, yeah. one million it's, said it's, it's a bit doable, difficult. But yeah. yeah, it's quite yeah. tough. And of course, the other thing I wasn't doing, I hadn't got it clumped to the table, so that was silly. I was trying Rookie to hold mistake. it. So Rookie ended up with mistake. Yeah, definitely. Ended up with my husband helping me. So <laughs> both of us were trying to crank this gizmo. Oh, that one million, that must have been really hard. Yeah. Yeah. But point eight we did six. it, yeah. we did it. It looked fantastic <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. I bet, but yeah. yeah. Ooh, um, <laughs> rightio. Have we got, is this the, your lovely printing skills or is it just Angela and Linda have got the same presentations? Ooh. Maybe they're friends. Ooh. Because she's actually from West Yorkshire. Is it you? Jack being created. Oh, she's been created, darling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Angela in Yorkshire and she says uh, it's howlite and hematite. Uh, she says it looks like bones in the wee bracelet. It does, oh, yes. I was calling them the salt and pepper shakers. Uh, Wilma from the Flins would. <laughs> Do you know what's making me think of one of the Bond <laughs> movies? And, and there's a. Oh, live and let die. It, yeah, it could be that. It, Isn't that, was it? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. It, like, my husband will tell me off now for not knowing, but it's, yeah. uh, there's, a, there's like a voodoo guy. And yes, he, and live and let die. And he's got the bones he comes out the grave. Yes. Yeah, it's live yeah. and let die. <laughs> it is, it's that one. Um, yes, that's a great one. That's got that lovely. Who's medicine woman? Dr. Quinn. Who's she in that one? Um, yes. It's Jane Seymour. Seymour, that's it. I think she's in that yes. one. Yes. <laughs> um, I've made lots of jewellery. Uh, back to Angela. And she says, um, I uh, hope to start doing parties. Yes. Well, I'd love to come to a party. I live in West Yorkshire. Uh, Angela in Rothwell. Well, fabulous. You made us go off on one about James Bond, but we do like it. Uh, we might will miss the Flintstones. Give over. It's gorgeous. Uh, good luck, my darling. You're number 16. Fabulous. More to read out later. Um, and don't forget my gorgeous peridot coming up at um, 12 o'clock, the lovely high-end strand and the turquoise, an absolute turquoise, so affordable um, at 11 o'clock. We've had a text. This is from Cathy in Merseyside. She says, morning, ladies. Great to see you back designing where you should be, Hannah. Ah, oh, thank I you. Know, she's a very busy woman. <laughs> 
She says, can I just say how friendly and approachable your health team are? Yes, they are. We'll make sure that message gets passed on. That's Kathy in Merseyside. Thank you very much, Kathy. Lovely to hear from you this morning. And it's nice to be appreciated. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> now, yesterday, Ed, the mad dog duck, he came on and we had a very special offer regarding 40 boxes. Um, I can explain more, but we, what we've done is create a little bit of film. I know hundreds flew out yesterday. It does create a separate order just for this one special delivery. But let's play out the little bit of footage that is filmed to explain it further for you because the offer is still available. Hello, I'm Ed, uh, sales manager of Jewelry Maker, and uh, this weekend I've got an amazing offer for you. I have uh, shown you this uh, Thursday and Friday, but over the weekend I will be able to offer you these boxes at an unbelievable price. We have been selling a box of five of these necklace boxes for £4.95 previously, and I'll just give you a little look inside. Now, you don't get the necklace, just to show you how, how it would look. But there you go, if, you're, if you are selling your pieces at craft fairs or even giving them as gifts, then these are the ideal way to give a finishing touch to the piece that you're selling. Uh, I've spoke to designers and they've told me that they would add probably two pound onto the price that they were charging if they were putting it into one of these necklace boxes. So as I say, previously, you get a box of five for four pound 95. However, as many of you are aware, as many of you are aware, we have been having a few warehouse and shipping issues over the last few months. As a result, we're going to be moving to a brand new mega warehouse. It's about four or five times the size of the one we've got, uh, and we've actually got two or three. These boxes actually contain 40 of the necklace boxes, so eight, eight boxes of five, so you get 40. and. We're going to do it at an unbelievable price of $24.95. So it's a big, big saving considering you were getting them at, say, a pound a box. Now, well under a pound a box, about 75p a box. Uh, we're not making any money off this. It's purely to clear out our extra warehouse so we can get things moving and get into our bigger warehouse. So currently, this small box is $4.95. This is now the large box we're offering you for $24.95. However, there is one catch. As this is being um, shipped from a different warehouse, you would be required to pay um, a separate PMP for this, and it would have to be a premium P because I can't ask the postman to carry these to you all. Um, so it's a four pound ninety-five PMP charge on top of order on top of the twenty-four ninety-five pound order. However, um, you won't be able to add anything to that order or you won't be able to add this to an existing order. It has to be a separate order, all of its own, but at this value, who can argue? So, £24.95 plus £4.95 packaging, and you get this lovely, not, doesn't look very attractive, but it is very useful for all you uh, jewellery makers out there. So that's this weekend manager special. Hi, welcome back. Now, don't forget, I did mention two keywords. Don't forget that offer is available as well as a, as a separate order. Just because you can see the size of the boxes, it has to be a DPD delivery. But we were talking yesterday with Laura about how it just gives the edge to the presentation of your jewellery. And obviously, uh, the lovely... What's the lady from Braintree, Braintree Call? We just talked about it, didn't we? Oh, we just spoke about it. Yeah, yeah um... well, she's selling her jewellery, you know, with that butterfly tiara presentation boxes it could be the key and just add a couple of quid onto whatever you're selling or indeed if Elaine. It's a Elaine yeah somebody like Elaine or um, and we do do courses as well um, jewelry maker courses about um, selling your, your jewelry as, as, as a business yeah uh, yeah if we can have a look at that slide that'd be brilliant so this is a great offer I think those boxes were working out at like 75 pence each there's all your courses but look there is one there and it's um, selling at craft fairs and although you might think well, 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 well can't be that hard um, there's a lot of top tips actually that people give you that you forget that are fundamental to selling and uh, it's, it's a great new course so lots of courses there just ring the course center and find out and the business academy workshop is coming up next month again actually, 
realise that the, the difference with, with when you're trying to sell at a retail outlet compared to when you're trying to sell at a craft fair or online, the methodology is really quite different because the audience is so different. Yeah. So those those courses really are fantastic. I've, I've sat in and, and watched a few of them, and actually I'm thinking I wish I'd known that a few years ago. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. Before warned. Yeah. So yeah, and exactly. Angela teaches her, Angela Edru Edwards, and she's she's very good at it's explaining. It's new, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. But um, I'd love to sit on one myself. Actually, I might try and do that. Yeah, I'm always we, working when I'm. If we have a space. You can, you yeah. can do it as training back. Yeah, yeah. Enough to, she can just ignore me. I'll just be sit by the bin. She went on there. You might end up making cups of tea for everyone. That's all right. <laughs> I can do that at the Rocks Academy anyway, don't I? It doesn't yeah. matter. I'm the gopher. It doesn't yeah. matter. Um, yeah, so, yeah, fundamental, very, very different, but great top tips. So, and that box offer, you know, it's only while stocks last. And I know, uh, you know, nearly 200 went out yesterday. And it is a separate order, so it obviously has to be delivered by the DPD man. But your one PMP does stand all day with everything else you're buying from Jewelry Maker, but that is a separate order, as it were, um, that we can organise for you. And I think there's a few of you on the line for those boxes, and they really give the edge to your jewellery, even as gifts as well. So when you think about when you go into a shop, a um, stationary shop, and you're looking for a box, how much is it? I mean, even even just the tiny little ring boxes are, are a pound, aren't they? Never mind 75p. So uh, for the big, lovely necklace presentation or bracelet or or like a set, if you had the necklace, the ring and the earrings and, you know, if you, you're presenting, you can just say, oh, as a gift, it's a beautiful thing to open up that box. But as a, as a, as a selling point, you know, I can box and wrap it for you. Tie with a bit of that lovely organza ribbon, you're away. All righty. Um, come in. At 11 o'clock, so not long, our natural turquoise. We had a beautiful turquoise on Thursday. Bigger carrot weight, yes, this is 130 carats, but very, very affordable. Uh, so that's coming up this morning with myself. And at 12 o'clock, so that's at about 11, 12 o'clock, I've got the gorgeous high end strand of the peridot at a ridiculous price. A ridiculous price. Very vibrant in the colour. Gorgeous clarity, some of the biggest peridot. You see the size of those nuggets and an insane price. So make sure you go on speed dial and check out on the web at midday today. All righty, let's bring you some bundelicious gorgeous dumb. Um, here we go. Aragonite, pretty, pretty. Big slabs, big pendant slabs, big cuff bracelet. Um, rectangular slabs and the patterning across the aragonite goes vertically and goes horizontally then we've got crackle quartz buttons and uh, beautiful beautiful ovals we'll get the have you got the yeah thank you claire we'll get the details up for you so i can tell you some carrot weights this is such a pretty cherry uh, pink and as you know it's it, it's 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 an organic material that you get in your abalo your calcite as it were and while we're talking about, you know, Unikite being a creative gem, your Aragonite is a gem that's supposed to ease stress in those periods of your life. If you feel a bit stressful, which I think jewellery making does anyway, just ease stress. It's just so very relaxing as a, as a, as a hobby. A, gen go at a gentle pace and then you've got something beautiful at the end. So the pink Aragonite, 620 carats for that gorgeous strand. If I just hold those few up at the bottom there, can you just see how the patterning is so different? This is the layers of the actual little seashells and the thin layers of the aragonite, the calcium carbonate, because it's sea creatures shell structure basically, it's a constituent of that. And uh, a beautiful gem that was discovered in 1719 Spain in Aragon, which is where it gets its name, aragonite. So, you know, it's been around for three centuries and beautiful in those cherry pinks, but look how different all three of those are. Just got, it's got a lovely, interesting, delicate, soft, pretty colours that are just layered there in the actual matrix of the gem. So it's a gem of meditation and it's a, it's a polymorph. Um, two gems coming together like your kyanite and, 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 and morphing into something completely different. So you've got your calcium um, carbonate, your calcite, um, you know, creating something, a different structure, a different symmetry different crystal shape and that's how a new gem in this case aragonite is born a very uplifting gemstone if, if you're feeling if you're into that side of your gems i'm always fascinated by it myself um, but i know a lot of people are and then we've got the crackle white quartz which is just always makes me think of fairies i don't know why fairies on the brain away with the fairies most of the time that's true but uh, it's just the crackle light it's just the the beautiful way the light reacts with the crackle web it's a lovely fine drawn line of of a, of a crackled web 
and they sparkle, they really do. So, so pretty and fresh in your jewellery. Beautiful. Hmm? Say again, darling. The tortoise has escaped, Tom. Oh, no. We've got a tortoise in the studio. I'm sorry, everybody. Tom's, Tom's <laughs> babysitting a tortoise. He's tiny, isn't he? He's about the size of Terrapin. Is it baby? He's only three. How long do they live? Never. Up to 100 years old. You can't bring him in when he's that age. Be Should we bring him on and say hello? Yeah. Well, if you can find him, he's escaped. Let's face it, he can't go far. He's, he's not exactly the speediest fella. <laughs> um, but uh, very briefly, while we're getting the tortoise... Oh, no. Oh. No. Oh, Jack, look. Oh, isn't he beautiful? Look. It's not animal magic. Look at him. Do you know what? I've never... Oh, he's, oh, oh, he's shy. Look, he nearly popped away. He's three years old. What's his name? Tort. Tort. <laughs> Tort. It's original, but uh, <laughs> we'll go with it. Oh, look, do you know, he's not frightened, is he, the studio lights? So we don't know. Oh, hence the. What age could we judge his sex by? Probably. Oh, you're not sure. Well, yeah. Sorry, I don't expect you to be the all-known factoid on tortoises. I don't know much about them at all. Oh, bless him. I don't want to frighten him. Let's take it. The studio lights are very bright, aren't they? Tort. It's quite warm in here for him. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, bless. How did he escape? I mean, he's got quite a high box. How did he escape? Oh. He helped. Bit for, you've been put he the tortoise down. Tortoise napped. He wasn't. He didn't escape. <laughs> Tort napped. Tort napped. <laughs> tortoise napped. We've had a nap. In. <laughs> oh my goodness me! Live on air. There's a tortoise. Uh, poor Tom. Well, not poor Tom. Bless Tom. He's babysitting the tortoise for his girlfriend. So hence he's in work today. <laughs> goodness me. They're low maintenance though, aren't they? Yeah, a bit less. I don't really know much about them or the caring of them, but. Uh, Grow to 100 years old, wow. All right, uh, let me know if you've got a tortoise at home. Uh, a pink, great, what, what, what should Tom do with the tortoise for the week? What should he make sure that he does do or not do? Give us top tips if you're a tortoise owner or a tortoise lover. Uh, what, you know, just so you don't go wrong this week. That would be useful, yeah. That would be useful, he says, our cameraman Tom. That would be useful if, uh, what shouldn't he do and what should he do? So we know that tort's in good shape when the girlfriend comes back. <laughs> uh, the tortoise this bundle, can I just say that? <laughs> My, my uh, guest uh, presenter there, he doesn't come with a bundle. Um, this is uh, grain jasper puffy o ovals, 30 by 10 millimeter, 130 carats. And it's more of a, um, how would you describe, I don't know if you can see from there, Hannah. How would you describe that color? It's, it's, a, it, it's almost an apricot, like, um, no, it's darker than this. It's more peachy, rose pinky, yeah. isn't it? But there's a, it's like I was struggling yesterday with a, uh, uh, a mink pink we came up with and able the viewers did a brink the brink the brownie pink it's kind, it's uh, kind of an earthy pink yeah so, earthy, pinky, pink. Russet, yeah russety pink yeah it's quite hard to dis describe it actually, yeah but... well that's what your 30-day money-back guarantee is all about have a little look i'm struggling with this uh the, the names uh, uh, you know in terms of just sort of trying to pinpoint but you know on camera you can see the difference between the sort of the the cherry bob pink of the um uh the aragonite there Lovely banding on there as well, isn't it? There's kind of like a pink with hazelnut oval tone, o o overtones. Yeah, hazelnut pink. Will, will we go with that? Hazelnut pink, yeah, we'll go with that. that. 130 mm -hmm. carats. So, 880 carats. Oh, now that's lovely. That's exactly as it looks, the hazelnut pink. Beautiful. You know, an injection of black. Um, an injection of green, actually. The green peridot would look beautiful with that. I think, you know, so just thinking a little bit out of the norm, just just with those pinks. I think that would look gorgeous. It'd just give it that um, floral sort of, yeah, wouldn't that be beautiful? Yeah, gorgeous. Now, it's a three-strand bundle. Unusual gems in there. Fabulous shapes. The ovals, the big dynamic rectangles. They look like... Um, if you ever try that lovely mint cake, that uh, aragonite, it looks like a pink mint cake, doesn't it? Look iced, mm, sugary icing. GPG C70. And here comes your brand new today price. Yeah, and it was especially 
17.95. I mean, for that aragonite, that is 620 carats, and you could um, equate it to three, six on average, nine to 13 pendants on average, but definitely 620 carats. Um, you know, 13 pendants. That's a lot of, gorgeous for your wire work, yeah. I could just see one being a, a focal point, you know, in the center of a bracelet, you know, like the way in which uh, the identity belt is an identity bracelet. So seven, I mean, that strand alone, even by jewelry maker standards would be a bargain, say like 12.95. And then for the extra fiver, you've got that lovely pink grain, that hazelnut jasper, and your fabulous, fabulous fairy dust, snow white, um, ice white crackle quartz. So a bit, of, a bit different, isn't it, as a three strand pack, but beautiful. I just, I'm so in love with the color of that sort of bubblegum cherry pink of the Aragonite. And I will say if you bought these uh, bundles, you know, these strands separately, you'd be looking at at least 10 pounds more on average. So uh, please take advantage of the fact when we bundle the pieces together, we are trying to give you massive savings. I think you've already seen that today in the first kit, quite frankly, Hollywood Nights. Did I remember something? Yay! <laughs> Hollywood Nights, I remember the name. I was thinking of um, Norma Jean. Norma Desmond. Hollywood, you see. Beautiful, so three gorgeous strands, GPG C70. Let's put that up against the neckline, because I, 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 I'm in love with it. Just so, I mean, look at the size of them. Look at the size of them, huge. Yeah, very dynamic, lovely shape. So definitely, definitely 620 carats. That's a meaty, meaty strand there. Yeah, beautiful. All right, excuse me. Just gonna have a little cup of me jewelry maker tea there. Forgive me. Very thirsty today. It was all the shouting at Elvis last night. <laughs> I'm whistling at him. It's ever so good, Hannah. Oh, it's brilliant. Where, where was that Capsule then? Abbey, have you ever been there to see something? I think, it's, I think I've been there just to walk around. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. They don't advertise very much. They do love the, oh, that's where I met Anton. Anton de Beck, don't you know? Oh. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. <laughs> I had a photo with him. I had a photo with Elvis last night. Wow. Did you yeah, do great. Had a lovely lovely sit-down meal, three-course meal. Beautiful. Lovely surroundings. Great value. And then there's only about 60 of us. And, and Elvis and I front row seat. I was right Did, in front did of you him. tell him that you, you did a whole show for didn't him? Didn't get round to that. Oh, no. that's but a shame. But I did wear my Elvis glasses, so I think he okay. knew I was a fan. Okay. And I had the handbag. Excellent. So uh, I think <laughs> there was a big hint there. No, I didn't get time to do that, but uh, <laughs> grab him at the end for the photo. Yeah, it's fantastic. Rock's so happy. Did I tell you I like Elvis? <laughs> Let's do another bundle. Fantastic. It's a great night out. If you were there, let me know. There's only six of us. Um, righty oh, Oh, silver balls. Oh, yes. I can see you getting great use out of this. Uh, kit. Forgive me, Tom. I always turn it that way because I'm looking that way. Um, there's a lot, lot going on in this kit. And the most delectable silver heart chain. Look at that. I've had my eye on that all morning because you can actually... Well, let's have a little look at it. Let me put it over my hand. It's sterling silver. It's nine inches. Now, if you separated those hearts, you think about those traditional heart pendants. You have got on the nine inch, and again, it's only a quick guesstimate, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 individual, roughly, hearts. Solid sterling silver, beautifully polished, but it is a nine inch length of chain. So as a bracelet, extra length there, extra. You could actually use two for a pair of earrings, couldn't you, if you want to take off that extra inch. Um, but beautiful, imagine what that would be as we added a bolt ring clasp and just simply had that as a love heart bracelet. And all you would need is one of the little letters of the name. You know, you get one of, do you remember we did the letters on the Elvis show? We've got those lovely um, round letter, diamond cut letters, diamond stud letters. Yeah, the, the, the E, the, we had the E-L-V-I-S spelt on it. You could just put the name, you know, H-O-F-E, just, just the initials, and that is a beautiful bespoke sterling silver bracelet. What would that cost you in the shop? Gorgeous. Nine inch sterling silver. I mean, this is just the start of this bundle. Isn't that fabulous? So there's lots we can do with those gorgeous hearts in chain or separated 
uh, 18 pendants, nine pairs of ear, wh whatever you want to do. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Genie! Um, okay, then we need a fabulous gemstone today. We've gone for a real strong monochromatic look, but great fundamental strands to have in your backdrop to your jewelry making. Oh boy, hello. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Big 12 millimeter uh, black agate round beads. 12 millimeter, just gorgeous, aren't they? Just classic. Then we've got the crackle quartz squares, okay? So these are, we've got some great shapes to play with here in the actual kit. Look at these. The crack, um, they're double drilled as well. So this is gonna add uh, a different element to your jewelry making, the double drill. Can you see that? Because you can actually see the temporary strands running through the double drilling. Isn't that good? So we can actually create a two strand um, in between each of those I individual gemstones. What's also useful about having a double, a double drill gemstone? because we can create two layers in between yeah, each one. Yeah, you, you can make two layers, but also if you're doing um, a weaving technique, you might want to use it as sort of like a central point and then put lots of different wires through it. So ah, yes. if you're making something more sculptural, yes. um, it, it gives a bit of um, stability to your design. So yeah. It gives you the two different directions then to come out of it. And definitely, it tassels, definitely. Yeah, fabulous. So it's a whole new dynamic just to the lovely traditional plain rounds. And uh, again, we want to mix it up. So then we've got the black onyx puffy coins. Now these are a big 14 millimeter and faceted to within an inch of their life. So you get great luster on these coins. Isn't that tremendous? You can really see the wealth of volume in this kit. Now it's going to be a little bit more than other kits, but you can see there's a lot more in it, okay? And I mean that in terms of gem weight. I mean that in terms of gem quality. I mean that in the, the silver. Personally, I think the majority of this is our sterling silver heart chain because I'm just thinking of what price would that be? I'm always looking on websites. I'm always looking in the shops and it never ceases to me. It makes me the price is charged on, you know, just a very simple, even a child bracelet. You know, I was looking recently for children's christening and um, you were paying 30 40 50 pounds and upwards of that just for very small um, delicate jewelry and you just think to yourself cool well I you know make it myself buy it from jewelry maker and then we've got the squares of our clear quartz and again faceted but they're rectangles as opposed to the squares so you can see the difference between the crackle which double drilled and the rectangle so it's, yeah, it is your classic monochrome. So these are great, stable gemstone strands, beautiful together anyway, and the luxury of that nine inch silver chain. So the black onyx faceted coins, 250 carats, the squares, 260 carats, the 395 carats of the black agate round beads, and 150 carats, so that was that last strand I just showed you, the white quartz faceted rectangles. Then we've got 10, I'll just leave them resting on my bags. Just simply, oh, that's why. Uh, oh, stop it, you naughty cheeky ball. Because um, they want to make a bid for freedom like taut. There we go. That's There we go. Because this is just a few of the organza bags that you're going to get. Um, you get t 10 of the silver plated copper, E coated copper beads, 10 millimeters. So remember what we said about the hypoallergenic aspect of it. Uh, if you know if you're allergic to copper or anything like that, but it does strengthen those beads. It does retain that luxurious silver plate as well. And if you like, it, it stops the because it's e-coated as well. It's a preventative measure because silver reacts with sulfur in the air because there's sulfur, sulfuric acid in the air, and that's what tarnishes silver, and that's what it reacts with, and that's why you have your little silver polishing cloth. It's not a problem because we know this is part of what a noble precious metal does. But the e-coating is it, it gives it a longer life and a, a more preventative measure, not just the hypoallergenic aspect of it, but also the uh, the anti-tarnish. So uh, it just slows down that reaction to the air. Now, can you see we're on three bags there? Blue, black, orange. I've got silver, pink, red, violet, lemon. Yeah, green and our beautiful blue there. So 10 
of those fantastic organza bags. Multicolored organza bags. And there you've got the black, sky blue and the orange. Our fundamental bundle. So 10 of those, and they're really solid, those balls. I mean, I just love those on the, I mean, just that on the end of your heart chain. It's a little dangle or just two on the end of an eye pin. I'd be so tempted. Have you seen the price of silver earrings when it's just like a little ball? Because they're a classic. I promise you, you're gonna make a, ma even if you made, I know I'm obsessed, but five pairs with just those on. They're just gorgeous. But think about it with gemstones. Think about it in your designs anyway. $29.95, an absolute steal. Absolute steal. 950 carats of quartz onyx agate. Crackle and clear in that quartz. 10 of those organza bag. Nine inch length. Now, wouldn't you place that price point just for that silver bracelet? I've seen that and more for silver, you know, just the chain bracelets. And you've got a lot of silver in that bracelet, a lovely heart. And can you see the way the hearts undulate and they move? So whether we want to separate them or just leave the chain as it is, because it's just so pretty. Having said that, I mean, I'm looking at the hearts themselves. And would you say, would you, is there any specific point that you would be tempted to cut? I know you're looking from afar, Hannah. I mean, I can pass this to you. Uh, let me pass this to you so we can ask you while well, we're looking at the bundle close up. Oh, it's, it's okay. I know. You know, oh, darling. Do you, where, where, where you'd cut where you'd it? Cut, the yeah, if I come and join you, darling. It, it depends what you're doing, but I'd normally go for somewhere where it's less obvious. Yeah. So if you want to use it again, mm -hmm. I'd either cut straight through the centre of the point at the bottom. Yeah. Or at the same point, but in, in the, the dark, cleft of where the, the heart, where the heart the lobes, is as well. Yeah. Because then if you wanted to, to put it back together again, yeah. you, like, you, you won't notice the break. Whereas if it's here or something like that, it's, it's going to be obvious. really obvious. Yeah. Yeah, so um, just go for one of the, the natural points. Mm -hmm. Either there or there. Gorgeous. Really cute. Beautiful, aren't they? You can use and I guess like you could do your own off of, anything, couldn't you? Like, couldn't you just? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if we've got your silver clay at home anyway, you can do your own little bit of soldering, couldn't you? You probably you could, could actually. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of silver clay, and then because uh, it will withstand the heat of the oven as well, obviously, because it's such a low temperature That's really anyway. Pretty, isn't it? The firing up, but uh, yeah, it's beautiful looking. I'd be tempted to just leave it as it was for obviously. I, I know. I'm just about <laughs> to say that it's one of those things that, that so sometimes lovely. you just don't need to mess with it. No, just so lovely. But we like to give you the options, don't we? Just gorgeous. Very pretty. Amazing at twenty nine ninety five as well. Just an absolute. Abs Come on this way. Again. Absolute sticks. Sorry, I'm bothering you. I'm getting on. That's all right. I've had a go with that. Oh look! Can't work out how you look. finish it, but look. <laughs> oh sorry. I'm just, just you hold that up for me, darling. So I've just disconnected myself. I got so excited. I yanked my earpiece out. Uh, look at this. She says she this, couldn't do macrame. This, this is five minutes of chewing. Five from minutes chewing this earlier. morning. I it's have, one of the techniques on the DVD, isn't I it? I have seen the DVD, but I saw it such a long time ago. I, I was just thinking this is I'm a great way to tighten it. This is fantastic. Use your clipboard to tie it. Anyway, do that it that without lovely? dropping it. But I can't. I can't work out how to finish it off. So I might just have to um, just use a clasp or something. Well, we didn't give you the France. sliding knot technique. No. So we'll have to ask Jack. I, I've asked him. I think I think he's similar in that, that um, he didn't, ah. he's kind of self-taught. I think. Oh, okay. Have so, we got any? Well, we could, yes, maybe some spare ribbon ends. I'm, I'm quite ends. proud of that. Yeah. I'm, I'm very proud. <laughs> so you should be. Even though it's not finished. <laughs> it's fantastic. Okie dokes. Well, that's part of the challenge today. Isn't that fantastic? Um, let's carry on. So that beautiful, beautiful bundle, a mere $29.95. And you get a lot in there. I know, um, you know, you've got those big, big gemstones. You've got those lovely organza bags and those e-coated silver balls, which are so well made, so solid. And I just, you know, I was talking about the earrings, but in all seriousness, I'm not always saying you're making your jewellery to sell, but I can say, and I got some silver ball earrings myself here from Gems TV, and there was, the balls were slightly big, but everybody always admires them when I wear them. And uh, they were close, they were close to like 25 pounds. So if you just had that, and they're just on a shepherd hook, it's just a ball. And I know it's the silver plated, e-coated copper, but oh, now you're talking. Might have to get Hannah on that. Put them on a, you know that technique she showed us earlier with the copper skirt, the copper parcel on a long bit of chain. Just a ball on the end of a bit of chain. Be beautiful. Easy. Actually, the weight of the ball would be the anchor. Then you could have just like little charms or little pearls coming down the chain. Beautiful. All righty. Uh, PKGC78. 
mix and match those strands with anything, anything you've got in your store at home. That's what's so great about the fundamental bundle. It's fundamentally just physically what you need to, to use over and over and over again. There's just so much going on. The quality of those gem strands are so immense. You know, there's a big, they're big carat weights. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. All righty, I have more to bring you. Don't forget coming up as well. I mean, talking of, you know, what you've got to go with it. I mean, look at that straight away, that lovely natural turquoise coming up at um, 11 with black. Just beautiful, isn't it? Look at that with the black. Fantastic, look at what else I've got down here, going on down here, yeah. Just beautiful. So 11 o'clock, 20, 25, 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes for the turquoise. Beautiful. And how much you pay for plastic bay as well, we won't even go into that. All right. Ooh, connectors and pyrite. Look at these. These are big. You can feel the weight of these pyrites. They're big. They are big. I feel like I've become the mayoress. They're huge, aren't they? Aren't they fantastic? Not that they've got to use them all together, but they're absolutely fantastic. So this is just one strand. This is nine, and you can feel that weight, 900 carats of pyrite. Three centimetres by 22 millimetres. So each one, an average three, six, 13, you know, each one, good, good, uh, well, 70 carats. Each one roughly a good 70 carats each. So you get that carat weight and you understand how each one could be such a perfect pendant or, or beautiful for wire wrapping, just gorgeous. Then we've got 200 carats of the Black Onyx faceted puffy ovals so and this is your black magic this is black and gold this looks so beautiful with the sort of more antique shades of the the goldness of the um the pyrite itself i always think it looks like those mirrors that start to age you know when you get that speckling on your mirrors or an antique frame it's almost, almost that distressed look it's not your sheeny shiny, is it? It's not your, your new gold. It's like an antique gold, just beautiful. And then very different in this lovely bundle, we've got connectors made out entirely of an iron-rich gem, which glows like bronze itself. And you get five of these carved out of bronzite with the two connectors. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, how can I draw on your expertise here, Hannah? You know, in terms of my bronzite connectors with the two eye eye holes, as it were, um, how, how do they work differently? What, 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 I mean, how are we going to use those if we're new to jewelry? Um, well, you can use them for a number of things, really. But um, if you if you're using beading thread and crimps, you ju you just tuck the uh, thread through one of the holes and crimp it, and do the same the other side, and that really is kind of making a connection. So you might want to be you might want to be attaching different strands of gemstones through it, or you might want to be using a piece of ribbon through one half and then chain through the other. Um, it's entirely up to you, really. Um, it's just a way of, because it's called a connector, it's a way of joining things together. Yes, of course, so, it's the name. So yeah, I mean, they're very versatile. I mean, you could use them on their own ju just a, as um, kind of like embellishments on, on a charm bracelet or something, um, but, they're, but they're quite useful, so if, if you think, well, I've got this like lovely section of necklace, but I'm not quite sure how to attach it to a piece of chain. Yes, make you, that might, you might just make like the little crimp bits. You know, like we did on the kit earlier. Yes. So little crimp bit, and then onto chain. Yes. But instead of just using the crimp, you can use the connector with the crimp. So it's a real feature. And it makes it yeah a little yeah. bit more fancy. A gem feature, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And you've got five of those there They're as good, well. Yeah. So yeah, some great ideas there, and it's not something we see very often on the show because obviously you're carving out of a gem itself so it's quite an intricate process and uh, you know in terms of connections we normally think of the findings the gold plated the silver findings you know using our crimps and our beading wire material 
but here you've actually got it carved out of a gemstone itself and uh, you've got 40 carats of those uh, gemstone connectors so they're eight carats each 15 millimeters across and they've, they've got those flecks of gold within them hence the name the bronze eye but it's actually an iron rich um, entity within the gemstone itself just gorgeous creating against a dark brown backdrop flecks of bronze shimmer and sheen it's a beautiful gem i wish we had more of it on the show actually i love bronze eye and again gorgeous with something like you know if you want to brighten up this bundle um trying to lean trying to lean oh if i move my hand my connectors will collapse <laughs> oh i did it uh the turquoise this would fit in perfectly with the bronzite with the black onyx with the pyrite we've got a little bit of magic ready to happen here and 20 minutes till that natural turquoise appears and you will not believe the saturday offer price i have for you on that so let's uh, bring you the bundleicious price on our black and gold and then uh, we're, we're we're fast tracking towards our second new kit of the day and that that beautiful bracelet you see me wearing mm, let's give that back to hannah uh because uh, it'll be part of our demonstration today So, KUGC07. Ooh, straight down. 1995. And remember, 900 carats of pyrite. Each, you know, averaging each gemstone, 70 carats each. 200 carats of black onyx. 40 carats of those bronzite gemstone connectors, all for as little as 1995. It's really adding uh, a semblance of high-end luxury to the finish of your jewellery. And whether you're just using one of those pyrites, remember, you can just say to the person you're giving it to or perhaps presenting or selling it to, it's a 70 carat gemstone on average. So, you know, about. So uh, an incredible carat weight for just one gemstone. You've got about 13 on that strand on average. So there's an awful lot. I know we're only showing you three fundamental pieces, but what they are individually sums up to total. And five, you know, we're cutting even those gemstone connectors, even if you said they were 10 pounds, two pounds each, because they are literally carved out of a gemstone. Beautiful, beautiful uh, bronzite that we don't see very often. And then, of course, a great staple in anyone's jewellery wardrobe, that black onyx. We can just use one of those in a lovely silver wrapped ring like um, uh, Laura showed us yesterday. Alrighty. Is it time to tango? <laughs> Marvellous. I'm getting warmed up for the turquoise. I can see it here every time it keeps winking at me. Let's leave it draping there so we don't forget about it. Our lovely... Might be just after, just after 11. Just stay watching so that you don't miss out. Now, have a I spy Druzy. Have a little look. So if you've been admiring that lovely bracelet, I'll just give this back now because she'll be wanting to present it on her uh, display. I'll leave it there for you, Tom. Um, this is what Hannah used. Tango in the night, our second new kit of the day. And boy, have we got a lot going on in here. Forty-six pieces of sterling silver. Let's take you through our second new kit of the day called Tango in the Night. Okay, we've got the frosted black agate. Love this. It's just, it. You know where is you know the frosted um, faceted buttons of the gemstone. They look more sateen. These are really cool to the touch. They're really like. They've really got a matte finish to them. Just beautiful, gorgeous. The subdued nature, but a big impact. Just love the look of these. So different from your high polish. So you've got your frosted, beautiful um, black agate, eight millimeter rounds, 170 carats. Then it's called your dark green shell and it's iridescent coated, you know, like the mystic coated carnelian, your mystic coated quartz, 
Um, you're getting a rainbow of pinks and greens on this faceted shell. The really, really dark green. In fact, actually, um, a lot of um, hematite that you see in our, no, marcasite, marcasite is a very, very dark green. It looks like hematite, like a silvery metallic, but it's, when you look really close at marcasite or marcasite, it's got a really, it's like a very, very dark, dark green. And that's the only way I can compare this lovely iridescent green shell pearl rounds, 10 millimeter. They almost look silvery muted pewter black, but it's a very, very dark bottle green. It's that metallic coating, that iridescent coating, which, which makes them look even more metallic, like gunmetal as well. Now we're staying with the frosted theme and we've got our purple amethyst frosted uh, faceted rondelles. And again, you'll just notice from the strand of which there's 100 carats, six by three millimetres, how much tonality we've got, how much difference of tonality we've got in that strand. All the range of the purples to the violets to the pinks. Then, I know, it's never ending, it's another one of those kids. We've got a whole nine inch length of silver chain with amethyst faceted rondelles. Yeah, so we've got the luxurious nature of our nine inch silver gemstone chain which you know even when we've done our early birds you're talking eight pounds 795 so if we just equate what we've got going on here already we must be close to 40 pounds already but we've also got why beautiful druzy in there as well he stands alone but very i've seen this as your focal point you know where the eye draws down the necklace then you just draw into the druzy and then maybe have a little bit of tasselage with your silver amethyst chain. Isn't that beautiful? The Black Druze is so, so um, glamour, isn't it? Evening, start thinking Joan Collins. It's just lovely, isn't it? With that sparkle top, those uh, quartzes attaching themselves to your Druze there, to your agate, or sometimes it's your quartz, or your chalcedony, creating a lovely sparkling sheen on the surface, natural. Looks like it's sugar coated, doesn't it? Beautiful, so you get one of those, and that's a five carat individual uh, uh, gemstone. 10 millimeter across and it's drilled through the sides there so one of those then you also get um 100 pieces of silver plated sorry no it's silver this one isn't it sorry i beg your pardon it's 46 sterling silver pieces okay and we can see now the uh bolt rings there as an extra addition so that is everything you're getting 10 almost four centimeter sterling silver head pins with a two millimeter ball, 10 of the sterling silver four centimeter with a three millimeter eye, eye pins, 10 of the two millimeter sterling silver crimp beads, two pairs of the sterling silver shepherd hooks, there you go, 16 by 10, there's the rundown, three of the five millimeter, three of the eight millimeter, three of the sterling silver six millimeter split rings and three sterling silver bolt ring clasps. Now, as you know, we like to buy our pieces direct. And you've been buying the silver recently, haven't you? You've been involved with buying the silver. Yes. What's happening with those prices, Hannah? Oh, they're all over the place at the moment. It, it, it drops a little bit, but it's still high. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it, it's expensive. So yeah. it's very difficult for us to bring like, cost-effective kits with, without having to take a bit of a hit. So, yeah, uh, exactly. It's, it's luxurious. And if you're using precious gemstones, you might as well have the right thing. It's exactly. just, you have to speculate to accumulate. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's the market, isn't it? It, it does is, yeah. fluctuate. But the one thing that always stands true is invariably, in comparison to years gone by, it just has gone up and up. I mean, since 2000, silver prices on average have risen since 2000 by 300%. And it's, it's one of the most malleable, beautiful, precious, noble metals. Um, gold is easier to mine, yet, and yet more expensive. It's, it's, it's the lightest of your beautiful uh, precious metals as well. And it's just got an edge. It's just got a lovely, luxurious feel, but with a contemporary edge. And I think Laura put it quite rightly yesterday when she was talking about, you know, she doesn't like to, not that this is the law or anything, but if she's doing silver with real gemstones, she keeps it with silver, with a silver chain. 
She doesn't tend to mix the plate with the silver because it gives out mixed messages if you are making to sell. And let's face it, we all like to feel that we're wearing the luxury of a, a noble precious metal and wear that lovely silver because it's fantastic reflectivity. So 46 pieces of silver and we do take a hit a, lo a lot of the time because we know it's more cost effective with the 100 pieces of silver plated copper findings but not every, you know, it's nice to have the variety. That's, our, that's why we have the gold plated this morning. It's nice to have the silver plated but invariably you get loads of that left over. So let's go for a bit of the luxury because we've got a lot of luxury in the amethyst, the amethyst silver chain. We want to tie that in with silver findings. The five carat druzy, the, the beautiful frosted agate, the iridescent sparkling green shell. And you get your beading thread, and you get your monofilament, and you get your drawstring black and purple gift bag. All brand new today, second new kit of the day. We are taking a hit with all of that silver, I promise you, because this should have been at $34.95. So we are giving it to you today. It's a 24-hour special for $24.95. I can't guarantee that kit will stay at that price after today. So please take advantage of that. It's a bit of a one-off offer there. Uh, given the price of the silver, given the content of the kit, which I know you understand the value of. Uh, so take advantage while the offer is on the table today, dial the free phone number. As a new jewelry maker, you'll know amethyst prices, you'll know silver jewelry prices, you'll understand the worth and the value built into that kit. It's a great one to get started on. We're gonna get you started further. When you see the jewelry that Hannah has made, we'll give you some top tips about how to make it. And as a new jewelry maker, we'll give you that DVD and that uh, uh, booklet so you can physically get started as soon as it arrives in the post. And remember, if you're not satisfied with the quality or, you know, the beauty, if it's not everything you imagined it was gonna be, you've got that 30 day money back guarantee. It's brand new today though, so it's only while stocks last on a first come first serve first served basis so please ring the free phone number and web buyers please 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 proceed straight to checkout all righty how did you find the kit i love this one actually it's, it's very pretty it's very classic yes um it's quite dark when you first get it uh -huh. the color's quite dark but actually it's it's really lovely when you put it together there's a lot of sparkle in there yeah, isn't there definitely beautiful but, um, didn't make quite so many pieces out of this but then it's We're going um, for high end it's higher end so exactly yeah, it's it's more classic it's still uh, it's still a lot there because i can see one two three four five six pieces and again if you'd had the luxury of being able to add to this kit which you can't because we just asked you to use what's oh, in yeah, the kit um, <laughs> i'm sure it would have gone even further but look at the fabulous i mean this is amethyst agate silver jewelry i mean these are gorgeous so it just goes to show you how you can cut that chain and not just have to leave it in the nine yeah, inches. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the thing. I mean, it's, those chains are, are beautiful and, and the, the quality of the gemstones on them are really, really high as well. So you're always going to get something that looks more expensive. So if you use even just a small piece of it, it's, it really lifts the rest of your jewellery. Um, but yeah, it, get, it goes quite a long way. I've used it as part of the tassel. I've used it in the earrings. Um, ah yes, this is a fabulous yeah, necklace. All... I love these little flowers you've got the amethyst. Yeah, they're like little they're flowers. Right. <gasps> Look at the tassels. See that? I mean, you're druzy. The little tassel and, and the druzy there. I mean, so so it's kind of like I don't know. It's like the the uh, the best bit of the kit, if you like. I've, I've mm. made made the focal point. So yeah. The little druzy piece and then and then the lovely uh, amethyst chain. Love. They're like little flowers. They really yeah. caught my eye. Those. And actually, do you know what? Like looking at them on the screen, you, you really can't see how much it all sparkles when it's yes. together. But it's the sort of piece that if you're wearing it like for, for an evening or something. And you walk, walked into a, a candlelit room. Every, every, mm. every time the, the light bounced around, it would, yes. it would sparkle. It You'd would really see that on the shell pearl and on the druzy. You would, yeah. On the silver. Beautiful. And uh, the bracelet, I know we're going to demonstrate. Yeah, so, yeah. I'll I mean, explain I how to make that. that. But that, that's, that's two weaving techniques um, put together, really. So um, it's, it's just a very simple technique, but it gives you a nice chunky effect. Fabulous um, effect. Without being too heavy. No. Know? So no. that's, it's not, it's a... Uh, well, it depends on, on your taste, really. If you want to do something more delicate, there, there's another bracelet on the other side as well. Um, and that's just made using um, head pins. Oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't that beautiful? And, and a few gemstones. But if you prefer the channel, 
work, then you can go for a weaving technique and uh, get some of the bigger gemstones in there too. And a very pretty ring to match your bracelets. This little ring, stretchy ring, and a um, couple ring. of pairs of earrings. Yeah, beautiful. So again, it's, it's like a set. You could wear the whole lot together if you wanted to, or you could wear just a couple of pieces, but you could mix and match. It doesn't matter what you put on, it's all gonna go together. I like the way you've chosen a dark amethyst there and a little light one on the yeah, top. Yeah, because, because like, naturally they're all different colours. Yes. I mean, you can select them, so if you want the dark ones, you can pick them out, but if you prefer the lighter ones, equally you can do the same with that's, those. That's the fun of having that different yeah. tonality in the amethyst. It also helps to make it look like the earrings match. I was saying, the same, same with oh, this yes, one. Yeah. Um, just made sure that the darker ones in the middle. Yeah. Just and adds it, another dynamic, doesn't it? And then you can see it's a, it's a deliberate design statement rather than a, I'm just threading something on because exactly, I, I yeah. feel like it. <laughs> That's the joy of the choice in that amethyst strand, isn't it? Oh, there is yeah. such a lovely range of tone. And they do, they have that inner glow. We know we're not capturing it here in the studio, but I'm just looking at it there and there's a lovely glow yeah, to those lighter ones. Colours. And Yeah, beautiful. Okay, my darling, it's the, the it's the weave bracelet, the two weave bracelets you're gonna show me. Yeah, so, uh, because I like my chunky stuff. I know, yeah. You so, like purple, she's got purple on I today. do, yeah, I'm a bit of a purple fan. <laughs> so I've started off, I've taken um, two pieces of beading thread and I always cut more than I think I'm gonna need. So, so this is probably enough to make a, a necklace that, I, that I've cut, but um, I've, it doesn't matter because you can always trim it off. And all I've done is I, I've just um, put that through a jump ring and just used a crimp and secured it like that. And then on the other end, you'd put, you put a bolt ring clasp or whatever clasp you like. So onto that, I'm just gonna thread both of the wires through one of these lovely frosted black gemstones traps them both together like so and then like I did a little bit earlier on I take oops I've got my wires crossed already take the next bead one of these lovely faceted um what do we, are we call them deep, deep green deep green Shall yes tell. it's it's a strange anomaly it's, because they they look so Metallic. They do change colour actually, like, and, and yeah, they're grey. It's a bit like oil on water. You, yeah. get, you get the green flash. It's sort of almost yeah. like a peacock. So again, yeah. I'm just pulling those two through in both directions to secure them, like so. And just make sure it sits kind of in the middle because it will try and kink out sideways, <laughs> like that. And then what I'm trying to make is um, the first section. It's like um, just a little loop little circle so I'm just threading on onto one of the uh, one of the threads one of the little amethyst rondelles another frosted bead and another amethyst and then I'm going to repeat that on the other side I'll put that down pick this up so frosted little rondelle frosted ball frosted rondelle like that Okay, and then with this lovely um, shell pearl, I'm going to take, like I did with the last one, the wire goes through either direction, so it makes a knot inside the bead, like that. And because I've got quite a lot of wire, if you watch the jewellery rather than my hands, it's better. So this comes round into like a little loop, little floral loop. Hmm. Then the next section is simply the quadrant weave. So although it's the same process, yeah. where, you, where you cross the wires over, it gives a very different effect. So I just put one of the shell pearls on each side. Like so. And then take a further one. And again, I'm doing the crossover inside the bead. Simple yet so like effective. That. I've yeah, just, yeah it's, really, of, it's like the pennies the, just dropped this, this, this in terms of what you've done. The most like valuable technique that I've, I've found with jewellery is, is the quadrant because it really holds everything in place. Yeah. So you can see this, this, this gives you like yeah. a, a little circle and then the little quadrant mm. weave. And then to carry on, you're then going back to the circle. So if you repeat the pattern, then on each side you put one of the rondelles, then a frosted one, and then another rondelle. If the penny has just dropped. <laughs> it's, it's very simple. It's quite therapeutic, actually. Once you get into the into the, the flow, groove, yeah. And then you can watch the pattern emerging. So if I just finish this side, I can show you. 
like that. So again, exactly the same as before. And then with a shell pearl, in through left to right, in through right to left, pull them together. And you can see the pattern emerging. So, so, you, so you get two little patterns merging into one. And it makes it look really quite chunky because you've got the, the bulk of the shell pearl in the middle as you go along. Fantastic. And you just keep, you repeat the pattern and you end up with a bracelet like that. And that's your finished effect, yeah? Very, very simple. And beautiful. $24.95 for that gorgeous, gorgeous kit. And there's a lot of quality in there with that uh, sterling silver as well. Don't forget, you can text us in to 6077 if there's anything you know you're struggling with, you want to ask Anna and draw on her talents as a designer, uh, any answer to any questions that you've got, please text us in today because we're here to help. 6077. And uh, let's take advantage of that fabulous offer on that kit while it's on the table, while it's available. WJGC74 because there's a lot of quality gemstones, there's a lot of quality silver in there. It's a very good price for it for a silver. And we should have been yeah. at 3495 yeah. so we have taken a hit on that for it to give you a special Saturday offer. So uh, want to definitely uh, leap on and take advantage. All right, I think it's time to have another look this week at some of your designs of the Wall of Fame. <coughs> Alrighty, ooh, classic pearls. Absolutely, this is lovely. This is number nine, and it says, Hi there, I thought I'd send you a picture of my lovely new necklace. It's been made using ivory freshwater pearls, tanzanite faceted rondelles, and sterling silver findings, all from JM. I'm delighted with the result and hope you like it too. The BDB technique uh, works really well for this style of necklace, I think. Uh, though I did have to look through the jewellery maker blog to remind me how to do it. Oh. I'm enjoying the designers on the late show as I'm out uh, at work during the day and, and I, I no longer feel like I'm missing out so much on the show. Oh. Uh, love to everyone from Joyce. I, I think that's lovely, isn't it? Isn't very, that very fantastic. Classic. Joyce, I'm glad you attempted something new there and it came off to a great success, yeah. Brilliant. I'm going to stay with the theme of pearls, so a real classic uh, bib necklace here. Uh, this is uh, number 12 and it's Brenda from Surrey. Good morning, everybody, and the Essex Facebook beading groups. Oh. It's a six-strand pearl bead box that she used to make this with silver beads from her stash. She says, I love pearls and think this would be ideal for a bridal or a barbecue as jewellery needs to be worn and not just kept for best. I quite agree, Brenda. We shouldn't just squirrel it away. We should be enjoying it and flaunting it and wearing it. She says, please come on with quest. Ah, but the repeat and the late shows are also shown on Freeview. Ah, thanks a bunch. That's Brenda in Surrey. It's to do. Oh, believe you me, we'd love to. But I can assure you, Brenda, it costs millions to be on <laughs> yeah. Freeview. And if we were doing the kind of turnover to be able to afford that, my darling, we would. Well, you never know. Yeah. Might, well, we aim to grow. Fingers crossed. We'd like to be there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's... it's a, Stock levels, they all go, all goes hand in hand, if you like, but the uh, cost of being off really is it's mind boggling, isn't it's, it? It's mind boggling, it really is. yeah. Um, but um, yeah, so um, remember though, you can always catch it up as well on the website. I don't know if you have access to the web, Brenda, on a well known website uh, that you can watch repeats on. <laughs> but uh, stick with us, things never stop, stay still around here. There's always changes happening, so uh, believe you and me, we've got that in mind as well, Brenda. Good luck for Wednesday, by the way. Uh, this is number 10, and this, is, again, is really simple, really effective, so well done. This uh, is Tracy Woodward, and it says, Hi all, great Elvis show yesterday. Yay! And wow, how many beautiful gemstones. I was like, ooh, I want that. Yeah, ooh, I want that. <laughs> ooh, no, I want that one. <laughs> Sigh, I want them all. <laughs> Here's my Hall of Fame entry for this week to see if I can be in with a chance to win, so I can get them all. I've used the black and silver chain links uh, with the silver plated chain from for the necklace, made a clasp from silver shepherd's hook earrings and linked them all together. All of it's from JM. So many friends want this set, so fingers oh. crossed mine gets picked. Keep oh. up the good work. Yeah, you make my you make my day, you crazy bunch. <laughs> from Tracy in Sheffield. 
I love those chains. That's really the gold good, and the it? silver yeah. and the black. I can see why everybody wants it, Tracy. You've done fabulous. It's like the little bit of chain mail there, isn't it? I, know, I love it. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, what a good idea to mix it with black and silver. Well. Yeah. yeah, it looks fantastic. It does look effective. No, why it's in yeah, demand. Really good. Get more, Tracy. Make more. Sell it, and then you know that gives you more money to buy more. Um, all righty. Again, lovely set here. Earrings, a necklace, and a bracelet. And it's from Jane in rainy Stoke on Trent. Oh, darling, I hope it's nice there today. She says it's pyrite rounds, tourmaline, and ocean fossil jasper. She said it'd be wonderful to see my work on the wall, but a win would be even better. And uh, she watches every day and even watches the repeats. And she says, you beat SpongeBob SquarePants any day. Woohoo! <laughs> I hope I'm lucky enough to get on the wall of fame. Fingers crossed. Jane, uh, you are. Good luck for Wednesday's prize draw. And your lucky number is number 11. So well done to you. More to read out later. And uh, have we got any text messages, darling, Claire? We've got loads. Should we read a few, my darling? Let's do it. Let's, uh, thank you, darling. Let's draw Should on our hands. Talents. Right, this is from. Do you want to read it out, darling? Yeah, okay. Uh, it says, Morning, guys. Lovely to be able to watch live today. Hubby on a golf course, so perfect. Peace to watch. Oh, peace and quiet. Uh, is there a code for the necklace boxes or is it just a phone in order? Mm -hmm. uh, I have a wedding fair to do soon and it would be nice to have one uh, to give out with the necklaces. Yeah, to give out with all the necklaces. Uh, take care from Suzette. Um, I'm not actually sure what it is. It is actually deal only a phone, or phone order. Okay. It's not available on the web. But don't worry about it. I don't know the code off my head, off the top of my head, but if you read the phone number, my darling Suzette, they'll know the code. They're fully aware of that offer. It has to be delivered by DPD, so 4 95 It is a totally different separate order to the 1 p.m.p. all day that we have existing on the show to 12 o'clock midnight tonight. So it's a separate entity because you saw the size of the box, of those 40 boxes, has to be delivered by DPD. Okay. Yeah, and uh, a great idea, Suzette, if you're doing that uh, wedding fair because it's 75p uh, a box, that's what it works out at. So just ring the call centre, my darling. Don't worry about not knowing the code. It's uh, a separate offer, and it's only by phone, I'm afraid, with web buyers, so you must ring up for that. And it's on a first-come-first-served -first basis. So Suzette, do it now while Hubby's on the golf course before you forget. Before you All right, before you get tired. Jackie in Whitaker from Greater Manchester. Good morning, all. Another fab show with great designs. I have that heart chain in silver and in gold. And she says, I flatten mine with the nylon pliers and it looked great. Love and hugs to all. That's a great idea because we were talking about the nylon that pliers yesterday. Idea, yeah, because yeah, it's got a kind of a lovely undulation in it, but if you wanted it flattened, say for a pendant or something, great idea. And the, yeah, the nylon just stops it from marking, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. Really mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to make mark that nice polished silver. So great idea, Jackie. Keep them coming. And uh, Carol, good morning, Carol in uh, Brentwood. Uh, hello to you. I know you've sent in the message as well. We'll try to get through as many as we can uh, possible this morning. So please, please, please bear, bear, bear with us. She's very excited anyway, Bedford. She's very, very excited. And um, she wants more, more bundles, more wire bundles. I hope you got it yesterday, Carol. We got more wire bundles yesterday. And who else have we had a text from, darling? Oh, do you want to read this one? This is Claire. Uh, yeah, it says, uh, Hi, Fee and all the gang, loving the show as always. Could you please demonstrate how to finish off that gorgeous bracelet? Uh-oh. I oh. always struggle with attaching the clasp and hiding the ends. Thanks from Claire in Wellingborough. Which can we bracelet? Pretend? Do we mean, I think do we mean this. this one? I think Claire means this. Can we just pretend that's a finished end? Would that make sense? Yeah. And you show me how to, you know, attach my, the other end of my clasp. When I mean, we did the first bit, but just in case you missed it, uh, I can do that, that's fine. Um, no, I've got to find my find Do we think things. we think it's this bracelet, Claire and Warren Burrow? Because it's the only bracelet we've done this morning, isn't it? Yes, and unless she's talking about the macrame one we showed earlier, in which case, I don't know. <laughs> you, haven't, no, you haven't got to the sliding knot phase. I have another you go You need to watch yet. the DVD for that. <laughs> OK. You could cheat, just use a cord end. Uh, Claire, let us know if we're doing the wrong thing for you, but let's yeah. show you anyway, because it's, it's a good, it's a good okay. tip. Okay. She said it struggles with attaching the clasp hiding the ends so they look tidy. So uh, yeah, it's difficult enough. The only problem I've got is because I've used a large jump ring, I know these small bolt rings weren't actually close, so it's in theory this is how it works. Okay. <laughs> well it's only a pretend bracelet, yeah, isn't it? We haven't really one. got a finished either that or you'd have to be a Cindy to wear it, wouldn't you really? <laughs> just need to have very good, it's, it's the very good nails. So I'll just thread it. Spread one more on as though it's the end of it. It's going to be the world's smallest bracelet. <laughs> or the world's longest earring. <laughs> so, okay. So imagining that, that this is the end of the bracelet now. Because obviously that's too small. 
<laughs> um, all you do, in fact, I might cut some of the wire because you've got rather a lot there. Give that. All you do is take both of the wires, use one of your crimp beads, and then you thread both the wires through. Bring the crimp bead down to the last bead, and then thread on whatever clasp you want to use before you close it. So it just hooks on as well and threads down. And then you need to get both wires to go back through the crimp bead and ideally to hide the ends, go back through the last bead as well. So you need to have something that's got a hole that's drilled big enough to fit four wires through to do it neatly. So you thread the wires back through together and then I can get them through the bead. <laughs> One's gone through, so the other one, yeah, there we go, you've got it done. It's going, it's, it's going. going, there we go. So they poke through the other side like that. And then what I tend to do, sometimes, well, some people think it's a little bit of a risky technique, but what I actually usually do is I pull this as close as I can. And then I make sure that that bead's got a little bit of space so it can slide up and down. Mm -hmm. So you pull that up as close as you can to the crimp and then I actually cut the, the wires before I crimp the bead. So you have to make sure that it's secure. So if I just, can I get close, get as close as you can to the bead and cut those wires. And then gently, without pulling it all the way off the end of the wires, Move it down a section and move the crimp with it and then either use your flat nose pliers or your crimping tool and just squash that crimp. So what you've done is effectively that bead can't now go back up towards the clasp so it has to cover the end of the wire and that means you don't get any sharp edges anywhere. You don't get any bits dangling out. Keeps it clean. Yeah. The other thing you can do is if you don't like the look of the crimp bead is um, to get a crimp cover which you get if you have any of the plated hundreds, packs. Yeah. Um, and that just makes it look the a little ball. bit tidier again. So I'm hoping that's the right one. Hoping we answered that question, <laughs> If it's Claire. not, give us a shout. <laughs> exactly. Text us back again. Uh, any questions like that, if you just want to say hi or what you're up to, uh, please text us in today, 60777. We are here to help. We've overrun a little bit, so I'm going to hot-foot it back to centre stage, as it were, and uh, bring you the turquoise. Ooh, and we'll join you again later, my darling, okay. for the third new kit. So don't go anywhere. Uh, let's show you how to enter the Wall of Fame and then be ready to pounce on the most affordable natural turquoise you've seen. The Jury Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jury designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jury Maker account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jury making. New to polymer clay? Then why not come and join us on our Polymer Clay for Beginners course? Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she guides you through the basic techniques of creating bead shapes, basic canes, pendants, feature beads and much more. You will get the chance to design and craft your own pieces, which you can then take home. During the course of the day, you will get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and have a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes black and white clay, a colour clay pack of your choice, use of all tools, buffet style lunch and refreshments, all for just £64.95. For details of course dates and availability, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you.
Hi, welcome back. Okie dokes. Now, uh, we've got a fantastic offer on the turquoise. Would you like me to... Or... Yeah, we just say, okay, we'll just wait for the phone to die down a little bit, that's all. So I was just double checking, yes. So this is the most affordable turquoise you will have the chance to own because I did two great strands. Admittedly, they were a bigger carrot weight on uh, the Elvis show. So just to differentiate that, I don't want anyone to feel bad if they got that fantastic offer on Thursday. But this is a smaller carrot weight, still big nuggets of that natural turquoise, still big on the beauty. 130 carats, got a great offer for you. Definitely worth taking advantage of for the forget-me-not gemstone. So this is the gorgeous blue-green of your turquoise and um, just, just fantastic. We actually had one of the mine owners recently, Jesse, visited uh, uh, Gem Towers, as it were, and um, talking about, you know, how they take the natural turquoise from the mine and uh, how they they just you know make sure that it's suitable for your jewellery wearing because it's a very porous porous gemstone as it were, and over time with uh, quality turquoise, if it, you know it, it can sort of lose its colour owing to the porous nature of, of the gem, change to more of a greenish colour over the years. So we've got we made sure that we've got this natural turquoise, but it's fantastically. Um, got the quality for your jewellery basically because of course it's not going to react with the oils in your skin or anything like that and the colour of turquoise does depend on the content of either copper or iron if you've got copper you tend to get more blue tones in the in this beautiful natural mineral if you've got more turquoise you sorry if you've got more iron you tend to get more green so I would say we're between the, the two and in this natural turquoise you can see the beautiful beautiful matrix of the actual manganese octa oxide. They create little rivers, okay? So this isn't dyed howlite, not that that's a, uh, a criticism, but it's not to look like turquoise. This isn't African jasper, again, trying to look like the blue greens of turquoise. This is copper iron colored turquoise. And it is, it has got the quality so that we can use it in the environment for our jewelry making. Just an incredible, incredible gemstone. Um, we recently, re I mean, a, 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 what was it, in the 1970s, uh, turquoise was so highly prized, you know, it's as expensive as gold. Um, but, you know, it's been around since the Aztec times. Um, just an amazing, amazing gem. We've got it from the USA and Arizona. And this is a predominant region for this beautiful, beautiful gemstone, the mineral part there uh, in Arizona. So gorgeous, gorgeous gem, but irregular nugget shapes, beautifully polished, beautifully finished, um, just gorgeous quality, that natural colour coming through, but like I said, we, we, we've got it so that, you know, we can be wearing this, it's been faceted, it's been polished, so that we don't get the reaction with the natural skin oils, and it retains that lovely copper iron rich turquoise colour that we associate with this wonderful, wonderful gemstone, the gemstone for December. Now our price points on the turquoise I had Thursday, and again, I just really want to reiterate this, it wasn't a criticism. Um, it was a great saving because there were meaty carrot weights. We were looking at about 24 pounds, 20 pounds. And uh, it stands to reason they were bigger carrot weights. This is still a hefty carrot weight at 130 carats. There's still a lot of gem quality nuggets on this strand. And if you mix it with any numerous just smoky quartz or black onyx or black agate, it's just heavenly, isn't it? It's just gorgeous because we understand the beauty of that turquoise. It's a real summer color. I have the most show-stopping, let's stampede towards the phone, price. Um, let me just show you that with the smoky quartz. It's just gorgeous, just lovely. It always reminds me of beachwear turquoise. So all the colors you see, the Caribbean blue sea, the colors of the sea, isn't it? The mermaid colors. Put them with those lovely metallic teal um, shell pearls that we just had in that last kit. Put them with the purples, really make them pop. Put them red, ooh. Yeah, lovely with a bit of red, really pop. I'll bring you, bring you those individual strands in a moment. I have the most affordable offer, buy two. Two, look at that one with red. I'll just put the nails in there. 
Mmm, electrifying! Uh, 130 carats. They range from 6 to 12 millimeters. Brand new high end strand, new today, only offer available on the table today for a one off. Twelve ninety-five. The phone lights have lit up. Well done on the website. Make sure you are proceeding straight to check out. Nobody wants to bid for this beauty. Then find out an hour later. Oh, phone buyer got it, or another web bidder was ready to purchase there and then, and it's you've lost it forever. So make sure you're proceeding to check out that one PMP all day. Remember, is stands you in good stead. Two ninety-five for the day. Add a kit. Add a strand. Add the of course, at the Perido coming up at 12 o'clock, but don't miss out. It's a little bit of a four, five minute wait right now because there's been a stampede to the phone. It doesn't surprise me because you know that is an amazing, unmissable offer that I've got to be on that free phone number dialing for. And it is a free phone number. So if I'm waiting, it's not costing me an arm and a leg. It's just a little bit of my time. That's the only thing that's costing you. And at the end, the success story is in a few days time to add to your jewellery making bundle, to create charms for December babies, to give to friends to say, never forget me. We can create a bracelet for lovely Hannah. She's a December baby. When's your birthday in December, darling? 19th. 19th of December, December baby. Do you always have two parties though? Uh, I have to make a big song and dance about the fact that it's my Too birthday, high. otherwise it gets sort of mixed up with and everyone's we don't Christmas want this. parties. We don't want this. I'll buy you a present for Christmas, but it's your birthday as well. Yeah. Rubbish. Yeah, there's a lot of that. I want two. <laughs> I want two presents. <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't want that. Um, brilliant. December's birthday, the forget-me-not gemstone. Gorgeous, absolutely stunning. The Turkish stone, as it was known, because it's first thought it was introduced from Turkey uh, into Europe. Uh, but real, it's real midways. I'd say it's got just as much copper in it as it's got the iron, because it's not the, you know, the strands I had on Thursday were beautiful. I had a very copper rich strand, which was very blue, 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 blue. And I had a very iron rich strand, which was your greener. I'd say this would fall between the two. And it's a great, great price. It's a very special offer we've just done for today uh, to really make sure that the quality class, you know, turquoise is, you know, it's important to know that this is your natural turquoise, not a simulant, not an imitation from the ancient trenches and tunnels in Arizona there. We've dug deep for this gorgeous, gorgeous gemstone and we want to make sure you don't miss out. So please, please, please take advantage. 130 carats for 12.95. So congratulations to you on the web. Congratulations to those phone buyers who got in nice and early. Stay on the line if you're there. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's a six minute wait. 30 people on the phone line. How difficult has it been to source this turquoise right now? Oh, it's ridiculous. Because we have only just got it in. There's, there's also, there's, there's so much imitation turquoise, it's, it's quite yeah. hard to be sure. So we have to lab test everything now and yeah. make sure it's definitely genuine. genuine. Article, yeah. And, and I can, lots of say that is. Yeah. Oh yes, mm. yeah. But um, yeah, fabulous stone. I love it. Yeah, love it. and actually, can I just say that's not to poo-poo any of the stabilised turquoise that no, you've seen. No, there's nothing wrong well. with it. It's just it's if you want to say this is really a, turquoise. Exactly. The yeah. stabilisation process, when you've seen that with our other turquoise, I'll explain, is impregnating the turquoise with an element, a resin, if you like. What it does do is make the colour pop even more. It brings the colour to the surface even more. And again, um, what you want with turquoise is not that porosity of the turquoise colour to seep into the oils of your skin. So that's not to poo-poo any stabilised turquoise um, that you've, you've, you've ever, ever had because it does help to retain its bright colour, you know, that, that penetration with the bonding, not only bonds the gem, but brings the colour really, really to life and uh, doesn't stop that changing. So don't, I don't, I'm not poo-pooing that at all because that's genuine turquoise as well, but I just want you to know the difference as well here uh, with the strand that, that I've got here as well. It is your genuine natural turquoise without necessarily that penetration of your, your plastic bonding or any other agent. Um, because it's estimated that less than 10% of mine turquoise can actually be used without some sort of treatment. So it's not an easy gem to get hold of, as Hannah just explained. It ain't easy to get hold of in a quality that you can use and keep natural in your gemstone jewellery. So um, this is the difficulty with what is already a rare, beautiful gemstone.
Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Not inferior. Nothing inferior about that. Uh, don't forget as well, while we're on the subject of quality gemstones and sourcing and locating where possible we go direct, we've got the quality of this beautiful, your baby, it's your birthstone this month, August. Um, our gorgeous, gorgeous peridot. So for my peridot babies, this is coming up at uh, midday. Yeah, and amazing, you thought the turquoise was good? You haven't seen anything yet. I'll do it as close to midday as I can. Phone line, still got a bit of a queue. Bear with us, we want you all to be successful. We did have some high-end peridot a few weeks ago and it did fly out, that's all I'm gonna say. So uh, just, just bear that in mind. Shall I show you those three strands that I just put with the fantastic turquoise? So you might get a chance to uh, get those. Let me just put the turquoise in situation with them. And we've had a text. Oh, we've had a text from a tortoise owner. Donna from Stafford had a tortoise named Eve, who is now well into her 40s. Gosh. And yeah, and, and reiterated that they can live up to 100 years and she's big and strong. Um, have we got lots of advice we can give Tom this week while he's caring for Tort? What not to do and what to do? We need some tips for him. Yeah, if you could text that in as well. Because have you looked after the Tort before? No. I mean, this could go horribly wrong. I mean, from earlier on, we almost had the tort napping. Um, JM Studio, 60777. Of course, do text us in about your jewellery making. But if you could just pass forward a few handy tips about uh, looking... I mean, clearly, uh, if, you, if, if Eve is 40, she do something right there, um, then uh, please, you, you'll know. What should he do and what shouldn't he? What should he avoid and what should he make sure he does do? And uh, we, we won't say we'll read them all out on air or anything, but at least we can pass those texts on to Tom because he's never looked after Tor before. Nice to see Tor, wasn't it? Is she still there? We don't know, she or he. They're still there. And gone. And ran, and ran away. Tor napping. We think, we think Tor's all right. <laughs> we are responsible. Um, all righty. I just showed you that fantastic turquoise next to frosted um, black onyx. I also showed it next to beautiful, clear, smoky quartz. And I've got some lovely crackled white quartz double drilled squares as well. So let's just show you that. Yeah. So if you've got that turquoise, if you're still holding for the turquoise, make sure you do. Remember, they, they went like hotcakes. People were buying two, them in pairs. So uh, I just like, I'd just like to introduce you to the different elements that can show you how gorgeous the turquoise looks next to them. But you know that anyway, it's a jewelry bag. You've already got the imagination. But to colour memory isn't something we all have. Colour memory is very weak. So uh, sometimes you physically need to see it as opposed to just imagine it, don't you? So uh, it's not something you have. You need to, yeah. Gorgeous. All righty, let's move that turquoise out of situation there. And just good luck, everybody. Um, and let's bring you three, and may, again, fundamentals in your jewelry making. Great backdrops to um, other gemstones that you might just quickly introduce. You know, you're just looking for that perfect piece to introduce with it as a, as a, a full, or you're just trying to flesh it out a bit then nothing could be finer than the black, the brown, and the ice white. Now we're going for all the squares. We've got the uniformity of them all being in the square cut with the checkerboard faceting. You'll notice the checkerboard faceting is all of those. This does cost extra expense. It does require extra labor, extra work, but the result is even greater, isn't it? Now, I'm just double checking. Are they all, yes, they are all double drilled, okay? And as Hannah said earlier, it allows you to then take two strands out and go in a different direction, create tassels. It allows it to be the fulcrum, the focal point, if you like, drawing strands together because you've got those two strands then that can create another journey out the other side. Um, it just creates different movement, and especially in your weaving as well because you've got the, the two strands going up either side and around and out to either side of the bracelet. So it just gives you more of a dynamic in your jewellery making and we've got the black onyx which is a matte frosted finish 120 carats we've got the smoky quartz which is smoking hot in its clarity you can physically see there on the close-up the double strands that's how clear the clarity 
the class of that smoky quartz is. Because actually, you know, if you were looking at a lesser grade of smoky quartz, we wouldn't see those strands, those temporary strands through it. You've got the crackle element, the ice white utter brilliance and light reflectivity of the crackle quartz. And these are all eight millimeter, all double drilled, and your white quartz is 120 carats. Now, you've been very patient on those phone lines for the turquoise, and I really appreciate it. The, the queue's got a little bit longer as more and more of you have dashed to the phone not to miss out. I'm pretty sure that at the moment, if they hang on in there, everyone's gonna be successful. Have we got enough for the repeat shows or are we looking at a lot of the stock gone, darling? A lot of the stock gone. But that's not to poo-poo you having a go. Uh, do, because sometimes people forget to check out, proceed straight to check out. Remember, there's no queues on the website. I think we've got that sorted now on www.jurymaker.com. So uh, just proceed straight to check out. But I do appreciate your patience on the phone. If I know you're waiting, so do the call centre. And it is a free phone number. And if you are waiting, you're thinking, well, I'd love to get these to go with some, uh, the turquoise, then just jot down the code when I get it up on the screen and you can just kill two birds with the one stone uh, when the phone is answered, which will be imminently. So thank you for your patience today. We're experiencing a high volume of calls. So a collection of 380 carats. They look great together anyway, don't they? But again, the smoky quartz with the peridot, the black with the black. I mean, it just goes with everything we've seen today. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that for sparkle. Great with the turquoise, great with the peridot. We've had the three strand bundle this morning of the amethyst. We've had the black and gold bundle. We've had the fundamental bundle, haven't we? But again, this, this could be the bundle you get to experiment with that double drilled element you know, and how that takes you on a different journey with your jewellery making. So three great strands, smoky quartz, frosted black onyx, and crackle quartz. Look at that clarity. It's phenomenal, isn't it? QIGC63. For anybody still waiting on the phone line, that is the code to write down. QIGC63. One to take advantage of this morning because I have a great offer for you. We've gone big on the quality, meaty carrot weight. You can see how each one could be an individual signet ring. Each one a lovely charm. Each one a, 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 you know, a lovely dangle on a pair of earrings with a, a little finding there as well. Maybe that silver ball we had earlier in the fundamental bundle. You know, mix the square with the round. It's nice to see the square strands because when we do bundles, they do tend to lean towards rounds, don't they? They do tend to lean towards rounds or ovals. So this is the first bundle, and especially being dr double drilled as well. Uh, this is the first bundle I've seen for a long time where all three strands are square, let alone double drilled as well, that unique of the double drilling. So uh, very, very different bundle from the norm. New today and a fantastic offer because they're working out at six pounds a strand. 17.95 for all three. QIGC63. The number to ring is the free phone number 0800 644 655. And it's on a first come, first serve basis. So if you wanted to ring back in a few moments' time while we're answering all those calls, please do. But make sure you've got the code QIGC63. Don't worry if you haven't got the code for those wonderful boxes, that separate order offer, that manager special. Because um, the call center will, invariably the call center will know if you haven't jotted down the code, if you can describe what it is. And this is the only bundle we've had today, so unique of its type, where they're double drilled and they're all square cut. So it's your smoky quartz, your frosted black onyx, and your crackle quartz. Now we're answering those calls as quick as we can. Don't forget to check out on the website, beautiful jewelry makers, no cues there. 
and it is brand new today and that is a free phone number. And I'd like to say a big hello uh, to Katie in uh, County Durham, to Carl Catherine. She says, hi girlies. My husband would love a tortoise. Aren't tissue gems lovely? Um, the bronzite reminds me of tortoise shell. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Um, I'm trying to finish the cuff Laura showed yesterday, but my 20 month son Daniel is more interested in my pliers than his toys. Can you say hello to him? Love Katie in Durham. Um, Katie, I certainly can, my darling. Hello, Daniel. Put down mommy's tools there. She needs to get on with finishing that cuff bracelet, Daniel, okay? Go and find your soft toys or uh, one of your bric-a-brac blocks. Hello to Daniel, hello to Katie. Mwah. I'm glad to see that you're, you're industrious making jewelry as you're watching as well. And um, well, I mean, are you, are you gonna get hubby a toy toys? What's the, you know, well, I should say, what's the fascination? They're a lovely, lovely creature, a lovely pet to have. We were asking for top tips today on how to care for them. So uh, we can pass those on to Catherine. He's, he's, Tom says he needs all the help he can get because he's not looked after Tort before. So uh, we're a bit worried for Tort's welfare in case he does anything wrong. I mean, he's a sensible boy anyway, but uh, I'm sure he won't, but top tips were good. So I want to know, Katie, is Hubby going to get a Tortoise? Will he look after him? It's not going to fall to you, is it? Because you've got Daniel to look after. Will he be responsible and care for torts? Not going out with the lads and forget about tort in the garden. Do you know what I mean? It's always a risk. It's always a risk. Not you, Tom. What are you up to? Stealing things from me. I knew he'd steal them from me. I tried to hide them from him and he's got them. He's grabbed them. Uh, we are getting to those call lines as quickly as possible. Thank you for your texts. Keep them coming. Whether it's your tortoise tips or it's tips for your jewellery making, it's lovely to hear from you today. We've got one more brand new kit to bring you, the Green Goddess. And uh, we've also got uh, the Green Goddess herself, the ped Peridot, coming up just after midday. So are we going to kick start with the new kit, darling? All righty, no time like the present. So uh, thank you for your patience on the phone lines. It is our third and final new kit today, and it is called the Green Goddess. And um, when I saw the jewellery Hannah has made, she's made a lovely multifunctional piece. Um, it's very floaty, it's very ethereal. Um, it's, it's almost got a, a, a very light, dreamy quality to it. And uh, when you look at the strands, you'll see why. Now I've got this wonderful, wonderful mint green fluorite. It's a, it's a colour to rival your finest green gemstones. It truly, truly does fluoresce. And uh, whereas, you know, you often get the bicoloration in your fluorite, and we tend to go again, go to the USA, sometimes Germany, China. Um, you've got the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quality, the finest quality, the finest parcel of quality in, you know, the green fluorite, which always tends to be a small uh, collection, but obviously it's cut by our friends in Japur and um, just even more beautiful than any of the colors we saw at the Tucson Fair recently in Arizona. So top, top notch quality of that green fluorite. An exciting thing is you've got a massive 120 carats and they are six millimeter rounds. From the Latin word fleur meaning to flow and uh, it fluoresces. So it's it will glow once it's experienced the warmth of the sunlight outside. You've got green and silver shell pearl rounds, eight millimeter, or green and silver and like a petrol blue. You've got white quartz twisted ovals. So let me get these strands off the bust and you can have a closer look. And I really want to draw your eye close up and personal to the quality of that mint green fluorite because you know how banded it can be. You know the variation of the color saturation that can be from purple to violet to white to green to even yellow. Um, but this is real top end quality there, those fresh, mint leaf greens and you can physically see this temporary strand so the absolute world-class clarity of that fluorite is exceptional coupled with that we've got the fantastic metallic iridescence 
of our perfectly symmetrical eight millimeter shell rounds in the teal, the petrol blue, the green and the silver. So a lovely matrix of colors there. Coupled with that, we've got the wonderful clarity, the ice white transparency of twisted oval white quartz, 12 by eight millimeters. So this is where it's drawing in, you know, you've got the floatiness of the white quartz and the, the semi-translucency of that mint fresh fluorescent fluorite. And then the iridescence. So you see why I was going down a floaty, dreamy kind of a feel to this jewellery? Because the gems are lending themselves in their properties and their optical properties to that kind of style. And then you've got a name of silver green aventurine. Now we did do this as an early bird special Friday morning, so Thursday morning, but you might have missed that. Um, beautiful, beautiful chain length of the green aventurine. If you love your emeralds, it's a great substitute, but not a simulant, just a great, affordable, beautiful, rich green chalcedony there. Plus, in this kit, I have to brace myself for everything we've got going on here, you get the two cords, the two waxed cords. So this is fabulous for stylish gents jewellery. Fabulous as another medium to enter into the macrame side. Just fabulous as another medium to enter into your jewellery making. So two metres each of the 0.6 green wax and the white wax cord. 10 of the bright green organza medium sized bag. 10 of the bright white medium sized organza bag. You do get the purple and the black as well. You get your beading thread, your stretchy green elastic, so uh, six meters of your stretchy green elastic. Uh, you've got your white elastic, you've got your beading thread, and they're 0.8 millimeter in size. 50 meters of your beading thread. And your findings. Oh, now because we've got the nine inch silver green aventurine silver chain we've gone with silver findings on the green goddess kit okay keeping the quality with the quality like for like not that the silver plate copper isn't quality but it doesn't send out the mixed messages okay so you because you've got the silver chain in there we want the luxury of the silver finish of your findings so remember there are 46 pieces now because you've also got clasps with the two different five and seven millimeter uh jump rings there and your shepherd hooks, crimp beads, eye pins, head pins, all 925 sterling silver. Your green goddess jewellery kit, brand new today. Are you ready? So a lot of quality. It's got a real dreamscape, I feel, to this kit. Gems just talks you, don't they? And I'm sure they talk to Hannah in terms of where she's going in terms of a design, and we'll talk more about that to Hannah in a moment, but just looking at the design, they've got a lovely floaty feeling to them. Dreamy. It's the clarity of that white quartz is just sparkling in the light. Transparent as a window. Uh, 27.95, but of course it's not glass. It's not a man-made product, it is genuine white quartz, a genuine semi-precious gemstone. And when you've got that much transparency and clarity in real gemstones, you know we're really going for the high end. It's not just about me listing big carat weights to you, it's about the optical properties. And the optical property we wanted in our white quartz and that mint green fluorite, it's world-class clarity flawless clarity you know so that when your eye looks at those gemstones you see right through them and you can imagine how the green elastic or any colored beading thread would imbue the gemstone with a little hint of its color because you're actually because they're so transparent you're actually going to see that beading material going through them because you can actually see the temporary one there which is just white and it's nice because we've got the green elastic there you've got the white and i've seen people plait that you know use it in very intricate ways not just for the fundamental basis of your stretchy. Um, and then you've got your cord as well. You've got 20 of the organza bags, as well as your big purple and the black. And uh, 46 pieces of 925 sterling precious silver. Brand new today. Wouldn't the turquoise look nice in this kit? 
27.95, wouldn't the peri dough? Wouldn't the early bird? You know, if you want to do take away from the dreamy and bring it a bit, bit, bit more back down to earth, uh, the purples of that lovely amethyst. Look at that. Do you remember that, the early bird? I just love purple and green. I'm a little bit obsessed. I just think it really looks fantastic. So if you wanted that sharp injection, but you know, that's the early bird, but take it away. Can you see how dreamy those three look together? Talking to Dreamy, let's go and see herself and uh, the fantastic dream boat pieces she's made out of this kit and get some top tips on how we can emulate the designs. Because you can make your own, but of course, please feel free to, I'm sure it's the greatest compliment, isn't it, when somebody copies your design or loves what you've made and Definitely. snaffles yeah. it. That happens a lot, doesn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I bet Chief I'll, snaffler I'll... over here. <laughs> Always going up to the office saying, can I have, <laughs> you know the jewellery that I really love it and I need it, can I have? I know I say it a lot, but I don't always do it. I always ask permission. All right, my darling. Right. Talk to well, me. Well, um, as you can see, there's not very many pieces of jewellery, but that's because this is a multifunctional mm. piece of jewellery. So at the moment, it's one fairly long flamboyant necklace. Yes. But it's actually three bracelets, a detachable corsage, and a separate necklace as well. Fantastic. Now tell so, me, how did you make that corsage? Well, um, basically I, I attacked the, um, the, bags. the bags. That's what I love. I was um, thinking earlier, I thought, how did she make the corsage? There's, yeah. no, there's no ribbony bits in there. I, I, just, um, I just cut two, I don't know if you can see, I, I, I cut two of them open, and then the so I can just about see that the colours alternate. So, yeah. so I, I've basically layered them. So uh, the white over the green and then repeated. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Very nearly throw it on the floor. Don't um, do that. It's too nice. And then the, the little sort of button in the middle of it is actually one of the um, twisted um, white quartzes. Oh, OK. So I've put that through the back and then used some of the cord and then just sort of like trapped oh. it. I like, tied it off and then, and then tied the... Um, Genius. So it said it's like a, a central point, point yes, of the flower. Yes, gathers and then, it and together. And then cut the cords off, and then, and then um, just used a pair of scissors and kind of cut around so that you could see the different colours coming through. Beautiful. And then on the back, we, it's, it it's, like you said, it's removable. Um, on the back, if Jack can get that, um, it's just a little. Uh, it was an eye pin, effectively, and I've just bent it in half and stitched it to the back there and then made a little loop so it's not sharp. So if you don't like the, the, the fancy flamboyant bit, you can mm -hmm. take it off. It doesn't have yes. to be there. Oh, you said multi and it just, multi just sits on there. It's beautiful, you could wear that in your hair, you know. You could. Beautiful. Wear it like, on, on a lapel or in your hair or whatever mm. you wanted. But if I take it off, you can actually get a closer look to see how this is detachable. Yes, because you did say multifunctional. Yeah. Ah, so, so in here, rings. I try and separate them like that. Mm -hmm. You can see I've made a little wrapped loop, and each wrapped loop has got um, a little hook, um, clasp on the end. Yeah. So each one of these you might have to help me because it's yeah. just a bit of a stretch. There we go, darling. If we can, if I can just detach it like that, undo that, and on the other side. There's just a loop and the clasp ah, is attached to the so bracelet. Take that one and leave the other one on. Green one comes undone and I'll <laughs> do that one back up so the blue and the white stays together. Uh -huh. Dismantling uh -huh. it as we go. And take this one Several off here. different looks, yeah. Like this. So there's our lovely long bib necklace. Can't get that there. But you can also see that you've got the detachable bracelets as well. So we can create an asymmetric look with just the one going across or both going across. Use them as two lovely bracelets. And if you want to take all three of them off, which you can do. Uh-huh. Let me just let's help you there. Which you I do, did earlier. You do one side, I'll do the other. There we go. And then what you'll see that you're left with is a shorter necklace. You'll have, probably have to do a, a close-up on them, but they actually all connect together. Shall I put all three through the jump ring? Uh, well, the, the, the extender bits should connect. Oh, I was just being tidy. I could leave them dangling, but uh, <laughs> there we go. I'll, I'll, I'll put them all... Shall I show you what I mean? Is that it? 
Well, I put them all through three, but your top one oh, is... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could do either or, couldn't so you? You can, so you can either go all through, all through one connect like that, or each one has its own individual connector. Yeah. So then that can go to the back of your necklace because there's no clasp at the back, so you just spin it round and you've just got a, a three-weave necklace. A shorter length. And it's shorter. Fantastic. Multifunctional. Talk about this. So many different looks. You've got the short look, the long bib look. We can wear it with an extra. So that's one, two. With the mid uh, um, fluorite, another look, three. With the chain, uh, individually, another look, four. With both, another look, five. Yeah. With the corsage, another look. So six different looks. <laughs> Out of one necklace. It's, it's pretty versatile, isn't it? Very versatile. Six different fabulous looks out of one necklace. Six. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'll start putting those together for you, darling. OK. You talk to me about your earrings as well. OK. And this is anything else you so want to describe about that, darling? Yeah, I mean, I think it's done self-explanatory. So, um, so the earrings then are down here. And a bit like I did earlier, um, I, I've made my own uh, divider, if you like, or connector using um, a head pin where I've just cut the, the ball off the end and then twisted it around the end of the pliers. So um, I'll demonstrate how to do that and it's just a, a quick way of making your own chandeliers if you don't have some um, chandelier findings. Ah! So I thought I'd show how Ooh, to do yeah, that. Yeah, I'd be very interested in that. Because I do like a chandelier earring, but like you said, if you haven't got the... Uh, <laughs> if you haven't got them, this, this is how is to a, do it. This is a bit like how you made that... Um, the bracelet. Yes, yeah, yeah. The, to get the, the three strands. The what do you one. call those slight? What do you call those connect? The connectors, aren't they? What do you call them? Are they got a name? Um, Just sep separators, are I they? Don't know, but there we go. S they're like a separator to to, to keep your three. Because we sell yeah. them separately. We do sell them anyway. But to keep your three strands aside, yeah. Because it's the same principle. So there's spaces, the aren't there? Spaces. Yeah. So there's the alternative use to, to give yourself a, a, a triple stranded bracelet. Yeah. Or to make a chandelier earring. So I'll quickly just show you how to make those. Great stuff. Pop that down there. Um, so what I've done, I've, I've pre-made some um, wrapped loops for the dangles, but essentially to make your little um, whatever we're calling it, it, are we calling it a divider? You think? I don't know, it's, well, a little, yes, okay. it's a little three-looped thing that I find quite useful. <laughs> <laughs> a three-looped thing. So all I've done is I've taken a head pin um, and just as close as you can to the ball there and just clip that off. And then using your round nose pliers, try and find where you think roughly the middle is and clamp it, sort of like that. And then pull the wires around together and cross them over. You're trying to, trying to make it so that the loop is roughly in the middle. So you have to fiddle around with it a bit. So you get something like that. And then what I do is I turn that so that that loop is up, upright. And then you're taking the round nose pliers again, you just make some little loops on the end. Just curl those round. And I'll just spin it round so I can do the other side. Of it. Oops. Got the pliers in the right place. There we go. Spin it round like so. So that's your little finding, if you like. And then all you need to do is just, as though it was an eye pin, loops and attach your little wrapped loops to them. Close it up again. Make sure it is closed. The middle one, because it has to go through the loop that the uh, earring finding goes through as well, I've, I've not made a wrapped loop from it. It's just a simple hoop. Right. So it's easier to open. Probably doing it. If I put that one down. Open that one out. Pick up my little finding again and hook it right through, like that. Ah, so that can be used for our um, shepherd hook as well, as yes. the middle, yeah. longer dangle. Okay. I'm struggling not to get my fingers in the way while I place the loops You can see, darling. <laughs> so I'm trying to do it back to front. Get the idea. Whoops. 
sorry, I'm just going to have to turn it upside down and then I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, that's, a great so that's the second one. Yeah. And then open the last one. Love the twist on that white quartz, because just as you're holding it there, we're getting some lovely light around, it sounds like it's um, faceted in several places, like it a lantern. It does bounce, just, up, bounce yeah. a lantern, doesn't it? So, you, so that's effectively your earring, mm. but you obviously need to attach your, your um, shepherd's hook to it. Mm -hmm. So I just put the earring down a second, and then open the loop on the shepherd's hook in the same way, like that, and just make sure that that goes through the top half of the central loop on your chandelier. Like that. And there's your little dangly earring. Easy peasy. And because it is obviously sterling silver, say I attempted that now and I was going a bit wrong, Hannah. I mean, is my, you know, I've, I've got me, I've started with dangle, it's not quite in the middle. Because it's silver, is that, am I going to be able to manipulate it to try yeah, again? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the thing with silver is it's quite strong. It will eventually snap if you, the more you work it. Yeah. Um, but that's because it actually toughens up to start with and, and then, then, and, then and then becomes brittle. Yeah. yeah. So it will get stronger and then it will get to a point where it's it's Breaking been point. it's yeah. manipulated too much and it will break. So yeah. I, I I would say you've got probably two or three goes without any problem. Yeah. So you've got plenty of time to correct yourself if you go wrong. Exactly. And say if you did but, have some yeah. silver plated copper ones because they're uh, even stronger still. Um, have a go with those if you know yeah, if you don't want to just, just have a silver, just have a play. It's easy just to use a piece of wire as well, just to get yeah, your technique a down to a, to a fine yeah, art. Yeah, a bit of wire. Just use that. And then yeah. once you know what you're doing, then then go for your silver. Because actually, yeah. that's the most lightweight of your, your precious metals, but it's got some of the um, the best sort of um, sort of metal memories that were. So once it's in place, it'll stay in place. It's, it's just a brilliant entity to work with, isn't yeah. it, in terms of jewellery making. Thank you, Hannah. That's that's brilliant. So uh, we've gone for a real, remember, six different looks on that amazing uh, necklace with a bracelet. Should be a word for that, necklet. Necklace or brace, brace, I don't know, is that a I word? I meant to check the multifunctional piece of jewellery. Yes. <laughs> I like the corsage idea out of the bags as well. I them as bagged. Um, so beautiful and just a, a lovely floatiness to that design and I love the earrings, I love the way we've got now got a new idea for our connector spacer or chandelier if we haven't got the yeah. chandelier earrings, yeah, because we won't have that in the sterling silver but if you like that style, there you've got it. Beautiful. $27.95, the third of our new kits today, Green Goddess, don't forget with 46 pieces of sterling silver. The quality of that mint fluorite needs to be seen to be believed, as does the white quartz. And uh, the lovely sparkle from your shell is just gorgeous anyway. Uh, any more texts come in? Any more questions that we've got for the lovely Hannah? Or is it all taught uh, tips for <laughs> the Tom? Which is good, we'll Tom pass them on taught. to Tom, I know. Yeah. We'll pass them on to Tom. He feels He's feeling the pressure now. He thought this was <laughs> going to be a simple task this week, but now that we've just brought it to... At least he doesn't have to walk it. Well, that's true. Yeah, don't worry <laughs> about it, needing a little tinkle at night, and there's no cat flap or anything, you know. Just got to, you know, clean out whatever it is he sits in. <laughs> Donna, for instance, has said, tortoises love dandelion leaves and flowers, bean sprouts, and mine hibernates in a camping fridge in the winter to control the temperature at seven degrees. But yours being small might be in a vivarium with a heat lamp, love Donna. Oh. I think it is actually, it's in a little... He's tiny, yeah, he's only moment. three years old. But uh, the weather's quite warm anyway, he's isn't it? He's under so the sofa out there. <laughs> <laughs> he's under the sofa out there, yeah. We don't want him to get too hot though, no. do we? So he's, he's in the shade, but thank you for that, Donna. Good tips, this is good. What should he not do, what should he do? Thank you, Donna. So dandelions, go out there and start picking some weeds and a few bean sprouts. And the bean sprouts. Um, dandelion stir fry. Dandelion stir fry, <laughs> indeed, yeah. Um, let me just quickly show you this necklace again in case you missed what we were doing because you had the three, you had the large jump ring there, which you get in the kit anyway. And as you said, Hannah, you just attached. Yeah, so, so I've made connectors using head pins so they're attached to the large jump ring and on one side they all need to have a bolt ring clasp on the end of them yeah and and therefore you attach the jump ring side of the bracelet to it yeah and then on the opposite side the bit that's attached to the necklace needs to have the jump rings 
and, and then you attach the, the bolt ring clasp side of the necklace to it. So it's the opposite, so that's all yeah. you've got to remember. And, really, it, and it, it also means that when they're detached, you can then connect the necklace together as one, because on one side it's bolt ring clasps and on the other side it's jump rings. And it's so you can connect them as bracelets yes. as well, yeah. obviously. Yeah, so it, so it works that's the only thing to remember. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Six different looks. Love the little corsage. Love the idea of put that little white quartz in the middle to create that little bulbous little, little knot button. in the middle. Yeah, little, little button nose. Fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> so so fashionable, isn't it? To see that a bit and big ones, really some fun boy ones. I love corsages yeah. anyway, so I've got I've got yeah. several of them. But yes. um, it's quite nice to have a go at making your own. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. More fun. Uh, thank you, darling. The peridot is looming. Am I right? Ah. Oh. That wasn't taught, was it? <laughs> We're all right. That's he hasn't shattered. It's seven years bad luck, apparently, though. <laughs> oh, love. That's a load of... I think it's a load of old... It's mumbo jumbo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We can't have that happening to poor old Jack. <laughs> Um, we will bring you this beautiful peridot. Now, I know this is some of the large carat weight we've had for a long time, isn't it, Hannah? Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous quality. August babies, this is your birthstone. And we've really gone for the richness on this peridot, because obviously that's where the name comes. Peridona meaning to give richness. And uh, really, you know, because peridot can um, suffer from light extinction, uh, it can be quite dark, can be too light, can have too much of the yellow overtones in it. This is the colour, actually, that is the most in demand right now on the gem market in terms of peridot. It's been snapped up over there in the Asian market in China. Uh, it's coming up in a few minutes' time. So uh, it's an amazing, an amazing offer. So please don't miss out on that high-end strand. It's a bonk. You thought the turquoise was bonkers. You haven't seen anything yet. Exactly. So uh, don't, I will be bringing you that in in a moment. If you've got any questions for Hannah, please text us into 60777. I've got a question for her at the end of the show because I don't think anybody wants to know my question. <laughs> I've got a question. It's something oh, that yeah. I've been thinking about for a while. I thought, how do you do that? <laughs> and it's to do with head pins and chain and multi-gem bracelets, but I'll ask you that in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Perry, on the back of this. Hello, I'm Ed, uh, sales manager of Jewelry Maker, and uh, this weekend I've got an amazing offer for you. I have uh, shown you this uh, Thursday and Friday, but over the weekend I will be able to offer you these boxes at an unbelievable price. We have been selling a box of five of these necklace boxes for £4.95 previously, and I'll just give you a little look inside. Now, you don't get the necklace, just to show you how, how it would look. But there you go, if, you're, if you are selling your pieces at craft fairs or even giving them as gifts, then these are the ideal way to give a finishing touch to the piece that you're selling. Uh, I've spoke to designers and they've told me that they would add probably two pound onto the price that they were charging if they were putting it into one of these necklace boxes. So as I say, previously, you get a box of five for four pound 95. However, as many of you are aware, as many of you are aware, we have been having a few warehouse and shipping issues over the last few months. As a result, we're going to be moving to a brand new mega warehouse. It's about four or five times the size of the one we've got, uh, and we've actually got two or three. These boxes actually contain 40 of the necklace boxes, so eight, eight boxes of five, so you get 40. and. We're going to do it at an unbelievable price of $24.95. So it's a big, big saving considering you were getting them at, say, a pound a box, now well under a pound a box, about 75p a box. Uh, we're not making any money off this. It's purely to clear out our extra warehouse so we can get things moving and get into our bigger warehouse. So currently, this small box is $4.95. This is now the large box we're offering you for $24.95. However, there is one catch. As this is being um, shipped from a different warehouse, you would be required to pay um, a separate P&P 
for this and it would have to be a premium pea because I can't ask the postman to carry these to you all. Um, so it's a £4.95 PMP charge on top of order on top of the £24.95 order. However, um, you won't be able to add anything to that order or you won't be able to add this to an existing order. It has to be a separate order, all of its own, but at this value, who can argue? So £24.95 plus £4.95 packaging and you get this lovely not doesn't look very attractive but it is very useful for all you uh, jewelry makers out there so that's this weekend's manager special Perido time, Perido time. Let's have a little look. Now, big, big nuggets. What I would really stress is that make sure, web buyers, that you do proceed to check out. Uh, make sure that you're on the phones nice and early. We don't want you to miss out on this. And for anybody born in August, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to get your birthday, or indeed, wherever we're about, well, we're a third of the way through the month. Uh, so if you've got to make something for somebody's birthday, this is perfect. Now this is uh, Peridot from China and it comes in all grades and qualities, but as a buyer, Hannah will be able to tell you this, as a, as a, a, a jewellery maker we have two very strict criteria. You know, we want the hue to be very pure with not too dark, not too light. We don't want that presence of the yellow to be overpowering. We do want the, 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 the more yellower grade because that allows you to see the glow and the brilliance and it's the preferred preference of uh, the Peridot right now that is so in demand. But we also demand that the clarity has to be world class because this is from our, our wonderful gems of distinction, if you like. Now, as I turn my hand there, did you see how the light started to interact with the Peridot? Did you see that glow? This is what makes it so, 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 so beautiful. We get a lot of our Peridot, like I said, from China. There's a couple of regions we go to, one of them being Hunan. There's a couple of other regions. Forgive me, the, the name just escapes me right now. But um, it's very, very unusual for singular carat weights of this gorgeous gem to be over one carat. And in this strand, as a collective um, nugget gemstones, we've got, do we have a carat weight there? A massive, 45 carats. Now you've got dazzling bright greens with just that undertone of a yellow gold which really brings the gem to life. And that's what Peridot has been most famous for for over 5,000 years. It's striking bright green hues, giving that richness because it's a, it's a beautiful gem that um, is born of the magma like diamonds. There's only two that are born from the magma, from the core of the earth. And that is your beautiful peridot and your diamonds. So it shares a lot of similarity with that most precious of gems. You know, a, an incredible brilliance, an incredible glow. As the light enters the gem, it, it almost splits into two and you get a lovely velvety richness. It's, that's, this is the glow. This is the wonderful optical property of Peridot that is to be considered. And this is what we, we demand in our criteria for bringing you the best Peridot. And of course the cutting, well, we've left it very organic. It's very lovely or regular. It, small coins is the description, isn't it? They're not uniformly round. Uh, but they range from four to six millimeter. They've got like a, a coin shape in essence and a beautiful, beautiful polish. So, you know, the, the thing with peridot, a problem I should say, peridot that we always want to avoid is to see dark, almost black areas, which we call light extinction, or indeed those inclusions, which you'd recognize. It's where no color is literally escaping from the gem when you look at it due to a complete lack of brilliance. So when we're sourcing a strand like this, if I just draw your eye along the length, you'll notice how the quality of every single peridot is on a par with its partner sitting next to it. It is the birthstone of August. It's a sparkling, summery golden green. It's a sophisticated gem that, you know, that's rightfully 
regained its position as one of the world's most popular and sought after gemstones around the world. And we've made sure, you know, our reputation's on the line here. We really want to bring you the finest peridots that the gem kingdom has to offer. So we, we really want to make sure that each one of those coins brings out the proper tonality with those summery golden undertones in the green of the peridot. Because you only get it, you only get it in the greens. It's an idiochromatic gem. Iron is not just the colouring agent in the gem's atomic structure. It's also the, the component which gives the gem its crystal structure. Without it, peridot wouldn't exist. Other gems are different. Sapphires, for instance, get coloured by minerals. They're pure white. Minerals such as iron give you aquamarine. But without iron, without con that constitute, without that part of its structure, peridot wouldn't exist. So that's why I talk so much about the hue there and the summery gold undertones and the clarity. Just beautiful quality. I'm sure you'll agree. And uh, really leaping out of the TV screen there in terms of quality. Let's bring you a fantastic offer. You're already queuing on the phone lines, making sure you don't want to miss out. I don't blame you. It's a free phone number. Uh, well done if you're on the web, proceeding straight to check out uh, because we have a fantastic, let's knock your socks off price. Let's blow the cobwebs away from the Saturday morning. Ooh. And bring you this amazing, Golden stone, as it's mentioned in the Bible. You know, fabulous peridot. Fantastic, gorgeous member of the olivine family. The most famous, the most celebrated. I know, 995, 45 carats of peridot. Look at that, and look at the lack of inclusions. Look at that glow. Look at that tone, look at that clarity, look at that uniformity of colour. Just gorgeous. And you can see how throughout history it's been a mistake of so many other gemstones, such as your emeralds, such as your tourmalines, but it stands alone. There is nothing to match the beauty of peridot. It is cherished more for its beauty than uh, uh, many and uh, many other gemstones in terms of the greens. And every single jewelry maker out there should should get some peridot. Just incredible, amongst the finest we could ever lay our hands on in terms of getting a strand for you. So please, please, please don't miss miss out. When I mean, you think about three thousand years ago, they used to believe that uh, the gemstone. You know, they'd mine it in the dark because obviously they believe that the sun rays allowed it to glow in the dark, therefore making it easier to discover. Discover So stunning, stunning limited edition peridot. It's got such an openness of colour. It's got such a, an intense brilliance. It's going to dazzle. It's going to really delight. And you've got just the right amount of golden undertone in there uh, to bring you this world-class, most sought-after kind of your peridot. And we go to China, you know, we do know you get it in Arizona, where, you know, approximately 80% of the world's source has currently been, you know, sourced. But we've gone direct to these regions in China because we, we want to really make sure we've located some of the best for you. I mean, Pakistan is another area we go, but uh, that's probably the most recent discoverer of peridot in 1994. But, uh, you know, the quality of this peridot is what's really, really took you know, caught our buyer's eyes, our team of gem hunters, as it were. So I know that 100 have already gone like that, so we need to stay on that phone line as if our life depended on it and make sure we don't miss out. I'm not going to lie, there is a queue. There's about 50 of you there with a two-minute wait. So please hang on in there. I've got 50 to give you if, you if you're patient with me and if you stay on that phone line, if you're quick to act, don't forget no cues on the website, www.jurymaker.com, but proceed to check out. If you are getting the engaged tone on the phone, listen carefully, it's quite, it's hard to hear, isn't it? Quiet is the word, yeah. It's quite quiet. Um, put the phone down, try again. But I know why people hang on because they don't want to lose their place, but it's not like that, is it? They need to put the phone down, perhaps ring back. If you get the engaged tone, you have to start again. If you get the options, then hold your place. If you don't get the options, put the phone down and dial again. You've got the code CHJK25. Good luck on the repeats as well. I did start with a good few hundred of these, okay? I know a hundred are already flown out, but at that price, it's absolutely unmissable. Gorgini, maze balls at 9.95.
are not to be missed. So I appreciate your patience. I think I think to give the call centre time to answer all those calls, um, I think if you'll bear with me, I'll join the lovely Hannah and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll look at uh, some of the Wall of Fame and that'll give our call centre time to catch up with all those calls and give you time to, and give you something to watch while you're waiting. So uh, remember, it's a free phone number, OK? So let's have a look this week at your Wall of Fame. Was that amazing, 9 95 I know, it's just a bargain. It's ridiculous, really. It is ridiculous. It's, it's, it's as ridiculous as the Black Spinel. I'm still not over that from <laughs> I Thursday. Know, I know, I know, I know. No, I blame Ed for that, don't it's you? It's like heart attack with that one. <laughs> I blame him entirely. I got really miffed. Oh. Did my voice get any higher? I got really miffed. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still want you to grab a bargain, but there's deals and there's, there's, there's going a bit it's ridiculous. Just, it's just bonkers. Just bonkers. Completely there's ridiculous. lunacy, yes, quite yeah. frankly. There's lunacy and there's amazing steals and deals. All right, hold the lines for that, Perry Doe. Uh, it just goes to show you, you know, that we re when we do get a deal, we, we, we do pass the savings on because we could have sat back on our laurels with that spinel, that Perry Doe, and said, all right, the spinel will be 20 quid, the Perry Doe will be 20 quid. We could have done, but we didn't. We do, we do pass on the savings to you because. We want to give you a reason to watch and shop with Jewellery Maker, not go elsewhere and uh, have fun making your jewellery. Talking of fun, look at <laughs> this. This is really summery. This is really, really pretty, actually. This is number seven. It says, hi all at JM. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. Um, I've been quite busy lately. I'm doing my first craft stall on Saturday. Oh, good luck good today. Luck. Good today. luck. So here is a tiara made with uh, oh, it's a tiara made with coral pearls and clear quartz, yes, all from JM. Beautiful. Uh, then there's a necklace made with lava rock and magnesite rounds and finished with ribbon. <gasps> also a necklace made with red rubber tubing uh, wrapped with gold 04 millimeter wire. Uh, I made the bale with gizmo and added some copper beads. Made from one millimeter antique bronze wire. Hope this gets shown on the wall of fame. Congratulate! Oh, okay. Congratulations, Lucy, and keep up the the mad. That's it. The mad of the wall shows. Uh... Oh, the, the I don't know, the Mad Wall of Fame shows. I think it must be the Mad Wall of Fame shows. Oh, I'm guessing. They make my day. Uh, oh. Katie, and, and it's in Raining Cats and Dogs, <laughs> South Wales. That was really unfortunate because it's, nice. it's quite nice outside I here. I know, today yeah. is supposed to be quite hot, isn't it? I hope it's yeah. nicer in South Wales. You really are using all the different techniques there, Katie, in the different Materials. And if uh, you've got an array like that all on one store, it's going to go well. You are going <laughs> to go like hotcakes. She's probably already there. Maybe she's mm -hmm. watching the repeat now or, uh, you know, recording us. But, uh, yeah, I hope it went well. All right, this is number five. And uh, oh, I love the, uh, the, the colour choice. The purple and the green. And it's hematite and amethyst. And um, she says, it's all the jewellery maker goodies. And a similar necklace went down very well at a friend's birthday present. She says, I'm off on holiday very soon with homemade jewellery to match clothes and cruises. Hazel from Durham. Well, Hazel, I wonder what sort of cruising you're doing. Uh, you are number, <laughs> number five. And I uh, hope you have a happy holiday. Lovely, lovely. Good luck on Wednesday. Okay, number eight. Uh, is from Kirsten and it says hi all at JM please see attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame I made this using the carved aqua quartz butterfly and silver plated chain and toggle clasp Aww. all from JM fingers crossed I hope I win uh, love Kirsten those butterflies were very popular, they were, weren't, weren't they? they? Very they, popular. They flew out. Ha 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 ha! ha, 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 ha. <laughs> indeed, indeed, they did. Yes, they fluttered they... out. <laughs> <laughs> they were, they were on, and they were gone. Need more of those, more of those, young Hannah. Um, Noted. <laughs> note to self. Uh, number six. Uh, this is Jane on the south coast. Oh, should be, should be sun tanning today. It's a simple stretchy made from a bead scoop. And she's used 11 types of different small chips in, in the same order between each rose quartz smooth nugget. Keep up the great work. Thank you to all the crew. Jane on the South Coast. I'll tell you what, Jane has got the patience of a saint. Not only to, because the nuggets do take a little bit more time, but to do them in the right order. Absolutely. You've got to pay attention all the way through. I'll say, I don't think I've got that <laughs> attention span myself, but it's, it's the proof is in the pudding. It's a felt there. Number six, good luck for Wednesday's Wall of Fame. All righty. 
few more to read out later as well for more. We've had a few more texts, my darling, so let me put those back for you. Uh, Brenda in Essex. Here we go. Brenda says, Hi, everybody. I have just tried the tip for the earring chandeliers using my eye pins instead. So easy to do. Thanks, Hannah, for the idea. This is what Jewelry Maker is all about. That's Brenda in Sunny. Yay! Yeah. Blacked on sea. Fantastic. Isn't that brilliant? First it, attempt, watching you, doing it as we, we and discovered. And considering I was a bit fingers and thumbs, well done. <laughs> so humble. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it was well. It was just a fantastic tip. It is, it's such an it's easy like, technique. Never thought of it. You know, it's great. You know, if you like chandeliers or you want a, a connector for a three-strand bracelet, now you know how. Fabulous. <laughs> this is what we like. And uh, oh, it's Claire again. Oh, she says that was exactly what she meant. The bracelet. Oh, good. Remember the bracelet. Good. Thank you so much. Now I can see how to do. Really appreciate your help. Lots of love, Claire. That's what Aww. we're here for. You're welcome. That's <laughs> what we're here for. You're more than welcome. So this is it. Text us in if you need help. If you're struggling. If you just want to, you know, get a top tip. You read out the next one, darling. Who's this from? Um, um it's Denise. Is it Denise? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, in County Durham. Uh, my granddaughter Daisy. December birthday and we give her a non-birthday party Aww. in the summer so she doesn't have to wait all year Aww. and gets all her prezzies in one go. She gets her main prezzies on her main birthday. Love the turquoise. Also taught. <laughs> Loving the show, Denise Stockton on teeth. Well, that's a good idea. I might have to adopt that and I have a happy unbirthday in the should. summer. Good A celebration because the thing is as well, especially if, you know, little girls or big girls, everybody's doing things for Christmas, family yeah. celebrations. And it's harder Christmas, to get together. But when your birthday's so close, Exactly. Yeah. So have a yeah. celebration. <laughs> you can still get the proper presents on the day. Be like the Queen. Exactly. Have an unbirthday. <laughs> exactly. We think it's a great idea, and uh, glad you like our unexpected guest, the Tort. Tort. Yeah. We're getting some great tips for Tom. <laughs> I haven't read them all out yet, but thank you. He's appreciating. Are you garnering? Are you feeling more confident now, Tom? He thinks the Tort's going to be all right. Don't give him to Jack to hold. You saw one just shattered <laughs> on the floor with the glass. Oh, that's a horrible image. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, to be honest, he was responsible. You did hold him earlier. He was all right. But don't give, don't give him to Jack again. He's got bullet figures today. Um, all righty. Now, that queue is going down <laughs> rapidly. There's only about 11 or 10 callers there waiting to be answered. And are they still going to be successful, Dee? Yes, you Fantastic. are. So if anybody wants to call back and you did patiently just think, right, I'm going to try in five minutes, I'm just watching what Hannah's talking about, uh, the 9.95, there is still stock availability, everyone's been successful, it's been a huge success story in terms of the offer and availability. So there's the code, CHJK25, ring me on the repeats, we have a lot to give you, you know, we've, we've realised from past experience now where we can possible when we're sourcing these high-end gemstones that you want us to try and source greater quantities and if there is availability that's what we're doing so do give us a call still if you haven't already dialed that was the offer of the day with the turquoise do give us a call on the repeats as well because you know we want you to be successful in the repeat shows rather than feel like you missed out on everything uh, so let's show you how to enter now our wall of fame for wednesday's prize draw to win 100 pounds worth of credit or 50 is the runner-up to spend at jewelry maker the Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jewelry making. I sound a bit mannish, don't I? I feel like this is like a screen test or something. The Late Show with Jenny Clary. How would I best describe myself? Um, loud. Like a bottle of lemonade. Annoying. It's kind of all shaken up. Um, Mm. Um, I'm just waiting for somebody to unscrew my lid. <laughs> I'm not showing you a dance move, it's not happening. Don't make me do it, Claire. It is embarrassing, I don't really want you to show this. You ready? Sure? I can't, I'll do a bit of robotics. Cut it out, alright, cut it out, edit it out. <laughs> a celebrity impression. I could take you on a journey. I don't know, I haven't got any good ones. 
not good at impressions. And then he got right down south to the Southern Bell like that. He started talking like he's from Alabama. I do a lot of New York when I'm talking about smoky quads. Over to the West Coast like that, and you're talking like that, and it's like, oh my gosh, you know. Don't forget, I'm a, I'm a parent, so anything I do is just going to look embarrassing. <laughs> okay, stop, stop. That is surely a wrap. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Hi, welcome back. Uh, well done on the period. I think we're down to the last person just waiting to be answered, or indeed they might just have phoned in. So well done to you. Phone lines are open and clear, basically. So uh, so give us a call if you missed out on that period and you patiently were waiting and you put the phone down and thought, I'll ring back again. Do it now because there's only one person waiting to be answered and that they've been answered. So the, the phone lines are open. Nobody's queuing. And uh, do see, so that was the great offer, CHJ K25 for the period. And I don't know how the turquoise uh, finished up, but the turquoise was 12.95 today as well. To very limited on the turquoise. Even if you don't know the code, just ring up and say, I've got exactly 10 left of the turquoise. Still great, good availability, great availability on the Peridot, but well done if you were successful. I'd get two, I'd get two. Actually, just on, the, on with those last 10 of the turquoise, just in terms of what caught my eye, because I think this looks gorgeous with it. Put this in with this three-strand pack. Have a little look. Yeah, really works, doesn't it? Because you've got the smoky quartz tying it all together, but that turquoise just really makes the muted tones of the jaspers there uh, pop, doesn't it? That picture jasper pop. Um, beautiful. So with the peridot, actually, as well. So let, you, let me introduce you to this three-strand pack. It's very beachy, it's very earthy. It's uh, be great for the masculine jewellery as well as the girls because those pitch jaspers are, are like your sandstone. They're like your... Oh, there is. Tina's doing the men's jewellery course as well in September, that little rascal Tina from Canvey. Uh, we've got it on our course, haven't we? We've got it on our um, slide. Uh, should we show you that, actually, just while we're on the subject? We just had uh, the finalised dates for September. Now, a little birdie told me that the lovely intermediate course for Laura might be happening in September, but we haven't finalised the details on that yet. I've blabbed! It's out! I've blabbed! I knew I wouldn't be able to keep it in. Uh, but we haven't finalised the code, etc., etc., etc. So you can't ring up for that yet, but it will be happening in September. Is that right? I've blabbed. Yeah. I we couldn't keep it in. We've just, we've just got to finalise things uh, with Laura, because she said... They got it Twitter. out of me! <laughs> Not good telling me anything. I'm such a blabber. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yes. So there's some of the great courses, and you saw Tina's there as well. Jewelry for men. Alrighty. Not that you have to use this for the men's, the gents' jewelry, but we do focus on the girls an awful lot, and I think those fabulous men uh, need to need to be uh, remembered and not neglected. Um, <laughs> hurrah, says Tom. Um, okay, we've got 310 carats of the Jasper Puffy Coins, and I love the matrix of the pattern. Speckled, swirling, dynamic slashes, if you like, across the strand, layered like a cliff face. Um, they're just under two centimetres, they're 18 millimetres across. This one's on the fade, look at that one, it's like a, a burnished sunset, isn't it? Can you see the pinky? That's like the moon, and then look at that, look at the grain on that lovely picture Jasper. Everyone paints a picture, everyone tells um, a different story. Just very unique, very individual. It's like a lovely uh, Italian marble. And uh, in the same gemstone, we've got the long individual three centimeter by 14 millimeter. So it's about three by a centimeter and a half um, picture Jasper rectangles, 250 carats. And again, look at that. It looks like the, the mountains of Arizona. It looks like a landscape from a John Wayne film. But the Dirty Dozen, fabulous. Really does. That's a great film, isn't it? They're remaking it. Who on earth can pay Lee Marvin? Yeah, they are with Tom Cruise, the schmooze. A lot of tish tosh, exactly. <laughs> you can't replace Lee Marvin and Charles Bronson with the cruiser. It's impossible, you just can't, it's a classic. 
Sorry, I'm on your soapbox again, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I guess it'd just be a very different film. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Have you ever seen The Dirty Dozen? I'd have a long time ago. Yeah. A long, long time it's ago. It's always on, isn't it? It's yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. It's just brilliant. Love it. Anyway, I digress. But that's what it looks like. And this looks like the birds. You know when you get the vultures up above? Flocking in. This, isn't it? Really looks like an Apache landscape, doesn't it? It's just fantastic. They're all so different. They're all so... Oh! Yes, exactly. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? That's a great landscape, that one. And then, I've really upset my producer with that knowledge, that, that, that uh, in news. I'm sorry, darling. Did you not know? It's like I've shot a grandma. She's not happy. <laughs> she's not happy. <laughs> she's, I know that's a bit violent, but she's that upset. <laughs> It is. You'd think I've just murdered someone close to her to the way she's reacting. I'm so sorry, darling. I wish I'd never said anything. She's very upset. Uh, back to my smoky quartz. 80 carats of frosted 6 millimeter rounds. So these are your three beautiful, three beautiful gemstones. Very, very... Oh, I can't get out. I mean, just that landscape, that pictures, that those jaspers are creating. They're phenomenal, aren't they? Really striking, very cool, yeah, really beautiful. I can see, you know, you could just use that one there because it just really caught her eye, couldn't you? As a focal point in a lovely, like, macrame bracelet and, and the rest of it going around. So if that was the, the head of, like, your identity bracelet and then and then the rest of it macrame if you like, the, those smoky quartzes at the side, coming out from the side of the bracelet, that would be so beautiful, wouldn't it? Because they're so beautiful and individual. Those, oh yes, got dropsy today. You're all right. Have you broken anything? Tort's all right. That's all we need to know. <laughs> He's been banned from going there. Tort. Oh bless Jack. He's got dropsy today. Are we making you nervous? Are you okay. Are you in love? There's something up. Are you not telling me? No. Just checking. <laughs> Just checking. He's all at one with himself. He's all beside himself. Um, three strand pack, including the picture jasper and the smoky quartz. 310 carats of the coins. 250 carats of the rectangles. 80 carats of the smoky quartz. So a collective carat weight of oh, 560, 640 carats. But you know, I'm really smitten uh, with those rectangles. Really smitten with the rectangles. It's not to say that the. Uh, um, the rounds don't have the same intricacy of patterning. It's just that it's just some of the patterns that we picked up on those rectangles were so dynamic. You can see that in the rounds as well. Okay, let's give you that fantastic price. And the turquoise would work beautifully with it. Brand new today. Ooh, and you think if you made a smoky quartz, I mean, five pounds a strand, and if you just use that one beautiful picture jasper and did a few smoky quartzes with some cord to create a macrame. I mean, how much are you, you know, going to pay for a macrame bracelet? How much have you seen for those macrame bracelets with the crystal? How much are you going to sell it for? I mean, you, you're going to make it for less than even five pounds a strand. You're just using one of those. So uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful three strand pack. Um, I just went with the macrame feel just because those pitch jaspers were so dynamic. But of course, you'll have even better ideas with those gemstones as to what to do. But great shapes there to work with, haven't we? Great carrot weights. They're lovely, Hannah. They're beautiful. I was just looking at the plasma behind yeah. you and you can really see the colours come through. Yeah, the patterns. Mm. You just look at it and the more you look, the more you see, don't you? Definitely. It's like yeah. staring at the clouds on a, you know, yeah, lying on the grass yeah. and staring at the clouds and seeing Indeed. the patterns move and the pictures you're painting in your mind. Just beautiful, really beautiful. Well worth getting home and having a having a little look yourself. It's one of those ones, isn't it? Get them home, fall in love, got a 30 day money back guarantee. And if you're not head over heels with the quality and the feel, the feel of the gems is something which I think is so important as well. You know, gemstones and your jewelry making, it's such a tactile um, hobby as well. And you, you feel that quality. You feel how smooth and well finished the gems are cut actually. And I know later on in the late show, because I've already spied a fantastic wood bundle. I got quite um, 
upset that I didn't have the wood bundle actually because I saw it and thought, oh, we got that on the show today. No, Fiona, that's for the late show. Boo! But the good news for you is it'll still be in your 1PMP all day and uh, you'll know the wood bundle I'm talking about when you see it because this will look beautifully with it. So make sure you're watching the late show between five and nine o'clock tonight. Now, if you'll indulge me, I'm just going to quickly have a look again because we've, we've got um, the lovely Hannah with us today and I know she's doing the challenge with the lanterns and I, I've got a few questions I want to ask about the lanterns so I want to get a demonstration from her if that's alright. But I'm also going to, something we didn't, and we've had a text in from Maureen, she says the second kit, the flowers that you focused on Fee, um, could we demonstrate that? So do you think we can do that? Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous, fabulous. Mm. So if you'll if you'll indulge me, I'll just show you our second kit of the day. Uh, do you know the one with the druzy quartz? We'll go over to Hannah and Maureen will show you how to make the flower aspect of the actual design uh, that you missed in the uh, kit earlier. So let me take you through the kit because you might have just tuned in and think, what, what kit? What's she talking about? Um, here it is. It's called Tango in the Night and it contains the fabulous black frosted agate eight millimeter rounds the gorgeous iridescent dark green 10 millimeter shell pearl faceted rounds it contains the 100 carats and remember the lovely tonality that um hannah sandwiched in between the earrings and the pendant um you know between the color i should say in her designs and then the sterling silver nine inch length of the chain if you got the early bird this morning do you remember those that early bird for 9.95 let me just put this into the matrix to see if you think it goes as well as I said, I suggested. Because there you have it. Yeah, that early bird went like hotcakes. I'm very limited on that early bird. It was 9.95 for all three of those banded agates and the plain agate, but it worked beautifully with this kit. So just food for thought there if you want to still step in there and take advantage of that early bird. We also had the five carat druzy pendant. And we'll show you the jewellery again that Hannah made to inspire you further. And Maureen will definitely show you that flower demonstration. Now, you also got, because of the silver chain, the amethyst silver chain. I mean, how much does an amethyst silver bracelet cost? In all honesty, are you talking £20 plus? You've seen the price points. I've seen the price points. Just goes to show you. I mean, amethyst rings can range from, even on our own sister channel, £25 upwards. Gold. 100, 150. We've had our amethyst in our pewter and you're not looking any less than 20 pounds. So the only reason, I'm talking about Gems TV prices here, um, you know, just what we can make out the genuine, these are genuine gemstones. We're all under the one umbrella here. So there's a lot in this kit for 24.95. And the amethyst here is actually Zambian. So I can look you in the eye and say wholeheartedly, 100% natural, amethyst from the zambian region so this is when we first started on on gems and we had access to the zambian amethyst which is on a par with the once available siberian amethyst which you physically can't get any anymore which was known as the world's best because of the tone and the color and the saturation all those qualities all that clarity was just renowned the world over like your russian alexandrite um, we started our putting our zambian amethyst in 18 karat gold then the viewers spoke to us and said, do you know what, Fee, we'd like it in something more affordable. So we put in nine karat gold and then we listened and then we started to put it in our, our um, silver gold plated, especially rose gold plated uh, jewellery as well to bring price points down to under 50 pounds. So this is the nature of the quality of the amethyst we're dealing with here in this kit. And that strand there is 100 carats and it's your frosted Zambian amethyst. So you've got that one range of tone in there plus you've got the amethyst silver chain so it's just to reiterate and uh, you know give you the knowledge in your cells in your jewelry and your giving of your jewelry the quality of what we're dealing with here in this wonderful kit 46 pieces of sterling silver has got to go hand in hand with quality zambian natural amethyst like that you've got the shepherd hooks we've had some great tips about connectors and sliders not connect, connectors and dividers with our eye pins and chandelier earrings out of our head pins. Jump rings to go with the three bolt ring clasps, uh, two different sizes. The slider rings, which I love, create charms and attaching onto chain and 10 crimp beads, all 925 sterling silver, 46 pieces. So this was the jewelry Hannah made. 
it is. If you watch the repeat, she gives us in-depth knowledge into how to make this bracelet with the quadrant breathe and uh, the little circular yeah, little loop. Very penny. simple. Yeah. It's like a penny dropping in the head. Because uh, when you look at it, you are just trying to configure how did that come about, and yet one of the simplest structures in terms of making yourself, isn't very, it? Very therapeutic and as you get going. does not take long at all. No, not And you don't need to have a huge amount of accuracy. <laughs> no, not at all. You, you all really you're gonna don't. All you do is just make sure you, you keep going and use the same combination of gemstones. And Claire wanted to see, so we were, it does get repeated, how to really do a tidy ending to your bolt ring and your crimp. So that does get repeated in the show. And um, we have the lovely earrings, the dangle, and this is what I was talking about, the sandwiching, that natural Zambian amethyst in between the lighter tones there on the end of that silver amethyst chain. And then we had a lovely stretchy ring. Beautiful, so this is great because we can make to fit the size. Amethyst and agate there, genuine gemstones. The focal point was this beautiful necklace, which we'll come back to because Maureen wanted to see the flowers, um, the flowers yeah. how to integrate that into this with the druzy being a focal point and tassels made out of the chain. Then Hannah made the lovely, simple, stylish bracelet, head wasn't it? Pin, uh, bracelet, that one. Yeah, head pin chain links. I love that. And then again, just very stylish drop earrings. And you can see how just simplest jewellery with silver findings, with quality gemstones, can be so effective. And you're just using a few on silver. Okay, Maureen, my darling, we are here to answer your call. <laughs> Take it away, Hannah. It's like the, the bat call or something, exactly. isn't it? <laughs> the bat phone rang, and we have responded to our customer needs. <laughs> okay, so um, again, it's using two strands of the beading thread, and I've just threaded on a few beads just for the purpose of the demonstration. And then what you need to do um, is effectively thread on and then separate the wires and poke them back through in the same direction. So I can show you what I mean. If I do, don't know where we are. So if I just thread on, and this is effectively the start of the flower. So one of the rondelles and one of the frosted beads. Thread those on, then separate the wires. And you need to put three rondelles on either side. So where we were talking about um, got the graphics in the way. Let me move over there. Thank you, darling. So, so where we were talking about the fact that you pick, can pick your colours, I, I've just alternated. So that I've got a little dark one in the middle of two paler ones, and I've done that on either side. So you thread those on. One, two, three. And then that wire has to come back through this frosted bead, but it's got to kind of make a loop. So if you imagine you're drawing a circle, the wire's got to go through in that direction. Okay? So I'm just going to poke it back through there. And then you need to keep, try and keep everything as close as you can to the rest of the bracelet. So if you hold onto the, the frosted bead and pull the wire, and then it pulls your petals of your flower around into place. Oops. Like that. So they do move around, they're quite organic. If you wanted to have it more compact, you could probably put more petals on than I have. And then on the other one, you do exactly the same thing. So you take the wire, you thread on three rondelles, and then imagine you're drawing a little circle, so you've got to go round in a loop and you've got to tuck that back through the same frosted bead. Give it a wiggle and it'll go through. Again, hold on to the frosted bead, like put your finger on it, and then pull the wire tight, and that brings your petals round. Like that. And then I just put both wires through another rondelle to complete the flower. Beautiful. Like that. And then you repeat the process. Pretty with those different tones, so, isn't it? Because that's yeah. nature, isn't it? She doesn't 
Make her flowers all exactly oh, every yeah, petal, you know, the same as the next. It's definitely, it's, there's definitely variation in them. Yeah, really stands out. So again, very, just... very simple technique, but you just have to remember that the wire has to go in a loop and back through the bead in the same direction that you're threading in. Fantastic. Thank you, darling. And That's Maureen, all. we hope that answered your question. Now, Hannah, I'm going to come back in two minutes. I'm going to let you get set up with the challenge. The challenge, yeah. Because the one thing I'd like to ask you, and the one thing we get texted in a lot about, is the lanterns and okay. how, given the width of their diameter, how they can how slide. Them as yeah, baby. and how we can, you know, hold them in place. I know when um, Lucy had um, that great trick of uh, it, was a, it was a pin, those earrings that I fell in love with. And anyway, I'll yeah, come back to Anne. She'll tell you. <laughs> I'm just vague. Uh, let me just go over here and show you what Hannah's challenge was so that you know what we're talking about and so that you can get involved. And she did complete the Macrave bracelet. Yay! We had some ribbon cord ends used, uh, but the next stage for Hannah and the Macrave uh, journey is to slide the knot, get the sliding knot done. <laughs> yeah. But to be honest, the two minutes that she had to learn the technique this morning, because, <laughs> you know, she did well to do that far, did she really? <laughs> Definitely. All right, this was our fabulous bundelicious bundle, our fun bundle, our party dime bundle. Um, and you had the green lanterns, purple, bright pink, neon blue, and vibrant red. 25 in total, and they were two centimetres across. They're called our colour mesh hollow beads. I just call them lanterns. Then we had two fabulous strands of the, of the 10 and the six millimetre multicoloured agate. So real primary colours, bursting with colour, bursting with energy, lots of fun in those agates. And a lot of the individual agates, some are saturated completely with one colour bank, Others have that beautiful distinctive banding that you can see there in the purple, the pink and the blue and uh, the, the lemon. So they've all got a different story to tell. There's a lovely colour mix, a lovely colour range. Bit of fun. Genuine agate just imbued with those different dyes. It highlights the banding in the agate and it just gives the gemstones an even greater sense of fun and colour to your jewellery making. You also got the satin cord, tear of five meters, sorry, a, meat, a pack of five and um, five individual one meter strands. So there they are, the satin blue cord there. So you had five meters and they're made up of individual strands of one meter, so five of those. Purple stretchy elastic, 100 uh, meters of purple stretchy elastic, and then you can see them all sitting on top of. Now, this is what Hannah used in the lovely corsage, don't forget, in the green goddess kit. Um, but these are functional party time bags, if you like. You want to get the kids involved in making the jewelry, you know, if there's somebody's having a party, it's a great way to fill a bit of time in the party time, get them sitting down, get them making some jewelry, and then they've got the party bags there to take it away with them as well, the goodie bag. Because when you're trying to fill the, those plastic party bags full of the plastic tut and bobbins that you can get <laughs> and sweets costs a fortune doesn't it it really does party bags cost a so why not sit them down with some gemstones and lanterns and some other bits in your store and get them making some lovely jewelry hey they'll have fun doing it and then they'll have something lovely to take away with them or alternatively just for your and your fun jewelry fantastic color injection into i mean we've got some sunshine today but we've had some very dull days so uh, let's inject our jewelry with some fantastic colour. It was an amazing offer of $29.95 for all of this. $21.95 for all of this. And uh, we're gonna go see Hannah now and uh, look at the lantern issue. Because this is what I was talking about. It's quite, I'll take one with me, so it's quite a, a wide, well, she's got some over there. Do you want any more, darling? You got some? Got a few. No, it's, got fine. Uh, it's quite a wide diameter on them. So if you're using cord or elastic or beading thread, slipping up and down down the lamppost kind of effect thing <laughs> so wow i mean this is what you've made first of what you've made anyway well i thought i'd stick with the bracelets because I, I started off having a go with macrame because i've not i've not done it before um, there we go and uh, yeah as we've established i don't know how to finish them yet but i will learn um so thank you to jack for the uh, quick tutorial earlier and you, you just solved the problem. And, and I've, yeah. It's always I, a challenge, never a problem. Not, I don't profess to be as neat as, as the lovely Laura or Rachel, but I've had a go at making my own um, uh, eight, uh, 0.8 millimetre wire um, clasp 
There you go. That solved the issue. Just we didn't even need yeah. to have yeah. finished. Yeah. Fantastic. That was all right. Great solution. That one's a double stretchy. So I thought I'd just like the fact that the colours are so vibrant. I was just yeah. going to stick them all together. And then I've threaded both of the stretchies through one of the lantern beads uh, just to hold them together, really. Exactly. So we've got no issue there of lantern sliding up and down because it's held in place by the double strand of the gems. Stay there. Yeah, definitely. On your stretchy elastic there. And beautiful. And Again, then, another the, solution. Yeah, the last one um, is um, well something that I can demonstrate, but uh, it's just using little links and making a, a big bubble bracelet. And you've stoppered the ends with the... With um, the smaller gemstones. Yes, yeah. which were six millimetre. So that'll stop them sliding through. If you've got a six millimetre gem as well. Yeah. So yeah, the, the issue with the lanterns, basically if, if, if it's got a very large hole through it, then mm. you, you need to either create something that um, will stop it from sliding because the gemstone isn't um, big enough, maybe. Isn't small enough to go through the bead. Yeah. It's just big enough to, to get stuck um, on either side of it. Um, or you need to kind of create a sort of a clamp effect. Mm. So um, you might do that with um, perhaps uh, pieces of chain or something, and then have a piece of wire that goes across that way ah, as well. Yes. So um, and then and then just kind of make your own like like we do the. Um, the uh, connectors. Yeah, the thing we haven't got a name the for. Divider connectors. The, the chandelier as we keep connectors. It, yes. Um, yes. So you could do something like that, and, and then attach that to a piece of beading thread, and, and have it threaded through. So um, I could probably, I could probably show you both actually. Mm -hmm. So the, so the first one, I've just got a little eye pin, taking a six mil little colourful agate, thread on one of your lanterns, and you can see it's just, just enough. I don't know if you can see it with my top, actually. Purple against purple is not so good, is it? Like that. And then the same on the other side. Thread on another little bead, like so. Make sure it's sitting sort of right in the hole, of the, like in the um, mm. bead. And then you only need about a centimetre of wire at the other side. So I'm just, that's a little bit long there. It's probably a centimetre and a half. So I'm just going to crop that, get rid of that and then make yourself another little loop on the end. Oops. In fact, I don't think I've cut enough off, even then. And that, that just makes you a little connector. Fab. So very easy, and then, you, and then you just unloop those and then connect them together like I have with the bracelet. Mm -hmm. um, and if I was gonna do what I was showing earlier, the little connector thing. Just quickly put it together so it explains the principle. So sorry for going a little fast, but I can just show you what I mean. So you've got a little connector thing like that. Mm -hmm. And if I, I don't know if I've got any thread, yes I have got some thread. With me. I'll just grab a little bit of that when it's got a kink, so it might not go through quite so well. But the idea behind that is you put your little connector onto your piece of beading thread like that, and then let it sit at the bottom, and then you need to post both of these pieces of wire through the lantern bead, like that. And then hopefully, when it gets to the other side, ah. it's just enough create a little anchor. Yeah, to stop everything from falling off. And or then you can put through. dangles on the bottom if you want. Great idea. Just two techniques of stopping well, we've your used lanterns that, from escaping. That slider connected to great effect today, it's good, isn't invention. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been used to great effect in two different ways. Uh, thank you for that. Yeah, brilliant. You're welcome. So, yeah. Beautiful. So, uh, 21 95 for the party time bundle. Still lots left over. Oh, yeah, loads. Yeah, yeah. still lots left more. over. And yes. I just love the colours. I do as well. I mean, that's just great fun. They're just gorgeous. Really fun. Summary. Gorgeous. Really gorgeous. It's the, it's the most colour we've seen today in the whole of the show. I mean, there's been lots of colour, but this is the, the real uh, rainbow. We've covered the whole spectrum in this kit. So, uh, you know, you can either use it together, as we've uh, said to Hannah here, but or, or alternatively just, you know, bulk up your store and get that injection of colour in your jewellery. We promise to get through all the Wall of Fames today. That's sitting behind me. So that's what we're going to return to right now and have a look at your designs this week for Wednesday's prize draw. <laughs>
All I'm, righty. I'm slightly wowed by this one. Well, I think but we should start with the wow factor. <laughs> this is number one. It is the one. Uno. Yeah. And it's pretty impressive. It says, hi, Jim. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It was made with the bronze sculpted clay and it's a big, bold piece, but I rather like it and hope wow. you do too. Wow. Fingers crossed for a win as my stocks of Sculpey are seriously low. <sighs> uh, from Heather. Oh, dear. It's a Welsh name, so bear with me if I pronounce it wrong. So... Uli? Oh, Powys from... Oh, Stanage? Oh, Landrindod. Landrindod uh, Wells Landrindod, in Paris. Landrindod, yeah. Very sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I have some, well, one of my best friends is Welsh, and she tells me I'm going to pronounce things wrong. <laughs> I'm useless. I won't even pretend to be, yeah. <laughs> but, yes, very, very lovely English. from Heather. So that's, that's really <laughs> impressive. I can see why Sculpey, uh, why your stocks are low, because, quite frankly, if you're making designs like that, you are a powerhouse of brilliance. It's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. I can't take my eyes off it. I know. Absolutely stunning. Uh, let's stay with stunning and, uh, well, it makes me brings to mind the gorgeous Peridot. Yes. Um, this is a beautiful entry. This is number three and it's from Lauren. And um, she says she enjoyed the Elvis show with all the Elvis songs. It got us singing. She loved it. Fabulous. Thank you, Lauren. She says it's jewellery made from a kit, bought from jewellery. And, uh, oh yeah, here we go, the necklace and the bracelet are peridot and the citrine tubes and the plain rounds. She says, it's my seventh entry, hope to see it on the Wall of Fame, also hope to win as I need to win so I can buy more gem kits. Thank you everyone at Jewelry Laker and uh, she's in Bitchum. So uh, Lauren, good luck and you are lucky number three. And this is number two. It says, hi all, I hope you like my entry for the Wall of Fame. I made this set using jade, jasper and silver plated copper chain, all from the mint chop kit. Ooh. Thanks to all the wonderful designers that appear on your show, they always inspire me to try something new from Karen in Swindon. And it says, P.S. Thursday, I thought I saw Elvis on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have done. Fancy that. Funny that. I know. <laughs> I'm sure the king walked amongst us. He gets definitely. Around, doesn't he? he does. Yes. It's always there in the heart, you see. <laughs> um, this is number four. Very stylish. Very stylish indeed. I bet, I bet you like that second kit that we just uh, recapped on because this is Jenna from Western Supermare and she's using amethyst bicones and drops with purple beading thread. I see that coloured thread coming into use. Okay. Mm. And she's made a necklace with a matching earring. She says, I love the quality of the amethyst. And all my friends have said how lovely the gemstones are. Well, there you go. She says, I never know if my entries have made it onto the telly as I work during the week. So I miss the daytime shows. Well, Jenna, I'm hoping this evening, if you're watching me on the repeat and myself and Hannah, that you can see that this is your design from Western Supermare. Anybody that knows Jenna with a G. <laughs> yeah, your designs. Those, <laughs> those friends of yours that were admiring your amethyst necklace and earrings, if you know who Jenna is, make sure you phone her up and tell her to watch the repeat this evening after the, the live show five till nine, okay? Because she's I'm hoping she might not be. Maybe she works weekends, but I'm hoping she might not. She might be off today because it's it'd been a weekend and if she works in the daytime. So, uh, Jen, I hope you saw that, my darling, and you are number four. So, if you love your amethyst, make sure you grab, what was our amethyst kit called? Um, tango in the night? Some, yes, in the night, that's at midnight, or, or tango at midnight, something like that. Was it tango in the night? <laughs> Forgotten already. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> tango in the night. There we go. All righty. Well, we've come to the conclusion of the show. Thank you very much, uh, Hannah, for all your hard work. You're I welcome. know your lovely sister is with us tomorrow, Lucy. She is, yes. Looking Family affair, that. definitely. Looking forward to that. <laughs> and uh, there is still good availability. There was a big uptake. Hundreds went. There was a big uptake of the Peridot. But for everyone on The Late Show, don't miss out. I believe the turquoise pretty much came to the end of its... Uh, yeah, all, came, all became allocated. But um, never let that you just trying and asking 45 carats of peridot the offer of the day there uh, for 9.95 and if you want to hear us talk more about that peridot do watch on the repeat thank you to hannah when will we see you again darling um i can't weeks. remember oh, it's, can't. A, it's a, few it's a complicated yet. question yeah. it's like my mom says what are you doing <laughs> when you're down again you don't know i have no idea i just live by today i can't think that far ahead <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> take care have a great weekend watch the light sh the late show and i'll see you next wednesday <laughs> bye. have a great weekend bye
You can watch Juramaker live every day from 9 till 1 on Sky 655, Virgin 756 or Freesat 807. Get creative with Jewelrymaker. The Jewelrymaker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelrymaker account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jewelry making. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. The early